sorry for it taking so long, folks. We were had some uh, stuff going on, some people visiting. It has been crazy. But that's the reason why we had to start late, plus the dogs were literally being little shits while I was trying to uh, wrangle them in, but they just kept running away from me. Thinking I was playing with them when I wasn't. Anyway, that's the reason why I do apologize for the late start. Because of the whole thing. My bad. But yeah, um... But yeah, sorry about that, folks. Good lord, I swear. It's like, it's one thing after another over in this area. Like, come on. Can I just... Do my job in peace. So to make up for that crazy debacle, um, I'll be extending the stream a bit. Alright, so I'm just trying to finish up the last little bit of this before I get started. There we go. And on these. There we go. There we go. Alright, so, um, I'll be right back and we'll get started in just a minute.
Finally, we are ready to finally continue. We had some issues with Xbox Live, apparently, on Xbox 360. So... I'm hoping that this works, because if it doesn't, we may... We may end up having to switch to a different... Oh, there it is. Okay, so... It was a glitch with my Xbox 360. What the heck? <clears throat> Alright, so it looks like we're back. As you guys can tell, EW can't go wrong. Anyway, we are, uh, let's see, is this the safe file? Yes, it is. And we are going to be facing against Arizona. We lost to them last year. Hopefully, we win against them this year. That would be nice. So, here we go. Also, for any of you guys who are wondering, yes, due to the late start and my dogs being little shits, as well as, uh, as well as a few people coming to our door, um... Uh, we are going to, uh... We are going to, uh, basically do a little bit of an extension on the stream. But yeah, how you doing there, Derek? Good to see you, buddy. And thanks for letting me know about the bot. Anyway, we are going to be, uh, doing that. So let's take a look at the schedule and see what we're going to be, uh, dealing with. If I get there. Alright, so we have week 9, currently we are against Arizona, then we'll be challenging against Arizona State, then we'll be going against Washington, the big college that we're hoping to try to win against, if we want to be able to, uh, want to be able to get a lot of our recruits from. Then we have Oregon, after that we have Oregon State, then we have California, and finally, we have the bye week. Personally, I'm very excited to see how things go, especially with how our schedule has been after especially losing the overtime game uh, last time. So we're going to hopefully try to make things work and win this next game and keep winning until we uh, at least make it back onto the leaderboards. So here we go. Uh, we'll be facing a team with a high offense but low defense. So this should help. So here we go. Pretty nervous, honestly. Seeing two bot, seeing the bot two times. Now he just does the message. Then, if someone reacts to it, it says nothing. Ah, it's kind of crazy how they do these bots nowadays. It's like, hey, I have an idea where you can use for those bots. I mean, bots. How about you follow us? By the way, I pl hey, congratulations on platinuming Demon Souls, dude! Congratulations. Must have taken you a lot of hard work, buddy. Nice job. That takes some hardcore dedication to play any of the Souls games. I'm impressed. Just two weeks. Well, actually, that's actually not that bad. Hi everybody, Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Arizona's been on a roll lately, but a winning streak is only important if it continues to be a winning streak. By extending it, we'll see if they can get it done in this one. Thanks for checking out the pregame show, NCAA College Football Action, coming up next with Brad and Kirk Mostly speed ball, run through David run it. Oh, that, that makes sense, yeah. Yep, EWU, baby. I actually do have the official hat and, and t-shirt from their store, so that's pretty cool. I stood awake for 24 hours. Yikes. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. <clears throat> Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. All right, let's see what they go. Come on. All right, so it looks like that we'll be taking the ball in the second half. We'll kick it off to them first. Miller has the ball teed up, and we're just about ready to get this one started. And it had to be a rainy day of all times. Oh, 
He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 26. <coughs> the 10,000 points a bite. Oh, okay. Wait, what's the SMT special? So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Not this time, we're prepared. I think calling the plays, you've got to be aware of this guy. He's making too many plays. And when he's that close to the line of scrimmage, defending the run, not allowing your running back to even get up to the line of scrimmage, you've got to do something to make him pay for that. If he's going to cheat ah. up to the line of scrimmage... Hey, Brian Banks, what a... Plays, hey, thank you so much for the follow, my friend. Go play oh, action on, and try to throw the ball right over top I get this head. time. Oh, wait, it was... <laughs> Second down okay. Well, One of my buddies just sent me a... Uh, Cool picture. He did a picture for Akira Toriyama, so I always thought it was pretty cool. They, uh, he actually made a made Akira Toriyama look like a Super Saiyan. Picks up seven yards with that catch. Uh, let's do uh, press, and let's just hope we might be able to get something out of this. Come on, guys. Gets rid of this one. Very stern effort there by the defense. They weren't giving up anything on that series. Hmm. Who knows? Maybe if we do, if we can, if if the Twitch system allows me, Ill. that if any of you guys turn. somehow reach up to a hundred thousand points, maybe we might be able to do some sort of special. Uh, Thing for you guys. Oh God. Oh God. And he's taken down at the 46. The Eagles and their ground games always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three. That you never know. It might yeah, actually be pretty interesting. How are you doing there, Lunda? Defense is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that. All right. So let me see if um let me see if Twitch will allow me to do that. And if it does, that would be pretty awesome. Stressed all week. Because then we could do almost like a little. Uh, Hard to get to guys and make tackles in space. Maybe we'll get uh, Master Chief to uh, join in on the whole thing. But yeah, you guys also have to help us get to uh, 500 subscribers on YouTube. If you guys can help us get to that number, then we will. Not only will Master Chief reveal it, then I'll make sure it happens. From midfield. All right, here we go. Second down. Three down, three down. He's at the 40. Gets out to around the 32. The Eagles always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. With the play fake, quick throw. Oh, I should have threw it earlier. Why didn't I do that? A great play by the safety to be able to be in a position to make this play. But no worries. Be able to hold on to the football. You know, he's a big, physical, athletic guy. But you've got to be able to secure a football and make a big play when it presents itself. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 32. Rolling out to the left side. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. That brings up third and ten. Inside the 10, he's knocked out of bounds at the nine yard line. And you know, Kirk, we get a chance to see one of the great players from last year. And if he has the kind of season he had a year ago, I mean, we could be talking about national awards. It's first and goal, ball on the nine yard line. Pass is tipped away. 
Nice defensive play. The thing I like here is watch the awareness by the Other defender. Look how he reads this year. play. Wow, that is on the ball nuts. Once it's thrown and then breaks on the ball to deflect it away. That's tremendous effort. Almost intercepted. Oh, I bet the defender wishes he had that one back. Yeah, anytime you have a chance to end the drive, especially in your own end zone, you just got to make that play. Here's the eighth play of the series. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Brown gets six yards on the carry. That brings up fourth and goal. So the offense is going for it. It's fourth down, and we're on the two-yard line. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. Brought down at the one. Sure, we've still got more than a half to play, but this is a perfect chance to get some points. I don't know why they went for it here on fourth down. This coach is one of the most aggressive play callers out there, but sometimes I do think he takes it a little bit too far. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Mm -hmm. Pretty much, yeah. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a gain of four on the play. That makes it second and six. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Quick, quick, quick. Tackle at about the five yard line. You bastards aren't getting past us. We're a well oiled, we're a well oiled machine. And he just gets rid of it. That's gonna bring up fourth down. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on a pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. McMillan is the punter. Hill takes it at the 45. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Oh, thanks, man. Thank you. Oh, we'll try to make everything so work here. It's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Run, Mario, run! He's at the Oop. 20. Inside the ten, yes. he's all the way home. Touchdown! That was simply sensational running, and it shows you what kinds of major things can happen when you have a good ground game. That's exactly what I was hoping for. But thank you so much for that, there, uh, buddy. Nice. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. Ooh. And he just got stood up right there. I do know, Yuki. Eagles are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down. Like this. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He's taken down at about the 25-yard line. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. He's tied in. They'll bring him down around the 28-yard line.
Wilson was the intended receiver on that pass. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. McMillan is waiting for the snap. <laughs> What's up? He's to the 40. Shit, he almost Making made it. To maybe the 46 yard line. Oh, really? Cool. These guys came up with a touchdown. I think I remember one of my friends had the original Demon Souls, but uh, he lost it. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. To the 10. And they finally bring him down at the 10 yard line. He's had no problem finding running room today. That makes it 100 yards. This kid yeah. Is just a Sadly, he lost his copy when he moved. And, I'm sure the and he's been he's been literally tearing his hair out of his head for years after that. He couldn't forgive himself for losing, especially since he was only time. one trophy away from getting the uh, com getting the platinum. <laughs> Nice cover skill shown here this time. That's God exactly bless it. This is literally the worst. A tight, low scoring game. Yeah, I'm sorry. This kid is a complete waste of money. Like, good lord. But yeah, he got really screwed up on that one. He felt like he got robbed. Switching for Lee Ward. At least he had a better accuracy in the rain. Minutes. Let's see if things open up for the second quarter. <coughs> oh, my buddy uh, years ago lost his uh, copy of Demon Souls while he was moving. To this day, he keeps getting pissed at himself every time because he's he was only one trophy away from uh, getting the completion. Getting the Platinum Trophy on Demon Souls. The stop at the 43. The defenders are really gonna. Oh, to yeah, I'm with you on that one. Game. That was a big play, and I'm first down, no less. Rose completely stopped immediately. Gain of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. And they finally knock him out at the 24. 27 yards. First down. Yeah, pretty much. And down he goes around the 22 yard line. That'll make it second and seven. <laughs> Fires quickly to the tight end. He's tackled around the 18 yard line. Gain of four on the play. That makes it third and three. Oh, he slipped. The kind of impact player that every team in the country would love to have on their <laughs> He literally team. slipped on the walk really on the cool wet line. ground. Are you when serious? You look it, he looks legit, but we'll see if it translates to real competition. <clears throat> From their own 23-yard line. It's first down. Pressure coming and the ball is loose. And it's scooped up by the running back. And he's tackled at the 12. They nearly gave that ball away. But luckily that guy was paying attention to what was going on and was able to recover the football. Ready! 
Fires out to his wideout. He's taken down around the 29-yard line. So it's third down. <coughs> We're going to need about four. And that one's incomplete. Edwards was the intended target on the play. So that'll make it fourth down. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. This is a pretty controversial call. I really would have expected them to punt this ball. He's to the 40. Makes it out to about the 50. Never underestimate Mario Brown. Stupid announcers. There's a reason why we always have him for clutch plays. From the 50. First down. Yeah, I have to say, it definitely was very challenging for him, and when he lost it, it was absolutely the worst thing that ever happened to him. Watch the throw outside. Wait, he what? I didn't even press ball. the button. To... Sure the oh, my Lord. He's getting ready to pass because he stuck his ball right in the passing lane. around the 40 yard line he is such a reliable target you throw it anywhere near him and this guy's gonna get his hands on it and make a catch original demon souls but the completions of the trophies got corrupted and he lost oh no oh man dude i know that feeling when your file is corrupted and you're like oh no i lost everything From the 40 that's only ever happened to me i think five times in my life and each one time was absolutely horrifying Finally, we're making some receptions here. Jesus Christ's sake. Like I said, Lee Ward is literally the dude we usually call upon for for good passes. And he's usually the guy that we know is reliable. <clears throat> See what I mean? And even though he's the same overall as him, he just does a much better job. He, it's almost like he actually knows what he's doing compared to the compared to uh, Patterson. I'm almost thinking of maybe making Lee Ward our main QB at this rate. Tenth play of the drive. Too tight, too tight. Are these guys going to finally put an end to their red zone struggles? And it carries the ball for a nice game. Actually, you know what? Hang on. Since you're already a moderator on our YouTube channel, I think it was I think it's about time you finally earned your spot here. Considering you've been a good moderator for our channel so far. So stand by, give me a second. Rolls manager. Add new. There we go. And moderator. Alright, there you go. We've got second and goal. Ball on the three-yard line. Brought down at the one-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it third and goal. <laughs> They're crowding that line of scrimmage. And it pays off. Touchdown. <sighs> All right, we got... All right, we have a two-touchdown lead. Once That's good. Finds the end zone. That's his second rushing touchdown of the game. When Heisman voters are trying to decide who will get their support, they're going to be thinking about performances like this one he's having here today. And he adds the extra point. 
Yep. Miller gets set to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, this defense has got to be proud of what they've been able to do in this football game so far. Love to see the goose eggs up there for this defense. And the way their offense is playing, this game is really shaping together for this team. And the offense will take the field, and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did in their last drive, which ended with a turnover. Yep. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. Tackle at the 35. Good throw. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. <coughs> well, they had some good people. They had a good uh, quick pass right there. So, I don't blame them. They did a good job. Jesus. And he's taken down at about the 47-yard line. There you go. Good read by the quarterback to give the offense a new set of downs. If the defense wants to line up and man, work that slant route until they stop it. And he throws it away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. From their own 47-yard line. It's second down. Mm. Good job here by the mm. defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. There you go! For the, sack. the defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Hill is back deep to return the punt. Yeah, of course they run down the clock. <clears throat> We're already going to get the ball anyway in the second half. Might as well. Through, and it's been a good one. The Eagles lead it by two touchdowns. Also, I want to welcome, uh, oops, uh, Creative Play Podcast for the follow as well. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. David, I'm sure there are plenty of people out there just loving this game. I mean, these two teams are spinning the magic bead all <laughs> over the yard. Big numbers on offense, pitch and catch, run after the catch, all the offense is working. Yeah, I, there's nothing to talk about defensively, but if offensively, if you want to start talking about it, I mean, everything that you're doing is right. And to be able to throw it deep, to be able to throw it short, to be able to make the defense honor every part of the field, the offenses are really in rhythm. They're really in a groove, and this is one of those games that you, you see a lot on the West Coast. I mean, it's just, it's, it seems like there's not a lot of defense, but the offenses know what they want to do and how they want to do it. And the just goes... We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreet ready with a call. Hang on. Getting a text.
Alright. Almost be the boss? Nice. <clears throat> we'll do kick return uh, instead of the return middle. Maybe I should have just done a return middle. Hoffman fields it at the three. He makes it to the 25 yard line. This Max had a good day on the ground, Kirk. Well, you're going to have big games like this when you show the kind of patience that this runner is showing. He was one he shot? Are you serious? Explode through the hole for those Dear runners. God. You're an offensive coordinator, and you have a back that's in this kind of zone. The most important thing for you to do continue to give him the ball and continue to keep these drives alive because right now he is unstoppable. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Go for it. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Edwards was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 25-yard line, second down. He might have a chance. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. He's knocked out of bounds at the 48-yard line. Here we go. He makes the catch and has a first down. They'll bring him down at the 34 yard line. That makes it first and ten. From the 34 yard line, it's first down. Throws out and through his hands. Edwards was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Double tight, guys. Double tight. Let's go. Right, 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 right. He makes his way out to about the twenty-five. third down and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker Brown gets the call again they bring him down in the backfield that'll make it fourth and two Kick is away. It's long. There we go. And it's good. <clears throat> Here's an update from the studio and restate. The Hawkeyes came into the game ranked 10th after the hard fought loss where the pollsters keep them high in the rank. And for Northwestern, they won two straight. And for Kidwell, he finished his day with a pair of touchdown runs. Northwestern gets the W 28 27. In another game, off the Salt Lake City, back and forth they go to heavyweight, slugging it out. The Bruins have the edge, 27-20. Wow, what an upset. I'm not sure anybody would have predicted that one. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. made at the 20. The Eagles continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football curve. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. <clears throat> There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. There we go. Good Lord. Second down and 12. Ball on their own 19. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Why didn't you grab it, Dominic?
Complete. He's out to the 30. He's to the 40. Across midfield. And they make the stop at the 41-yard line. Absolutely great time here to call this screen pass, and they get a huge game. When you get a big play like this off the screen play, not only was the defense out of position, but your offensive line and the timing and execution between the quarterback and the receiver and running back are flawless. And that's exactly what we saw this time by the offense. Outstanding play and a huge game. Keep pushing them, guys. We can't let them get a touchdown. Nice job, Geller! I don't know why, but this is the one play they seem to can't seem to figure out. It's complete. And down he goes at the 28 yard line. Gain of 12 on the play. First down. complete he's got space to work he's tackled around the 15 yard line number seven brings him down at the 15 yard line that makes it first and ten they need to find a way to get points this trip in the red zone the ten there's a strike complete he's down number 31 makes the tackle at the eight yard line no, stay down, damn it. Mike Smith, just stay down. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. It. He's got the corner. Are you serious? And they're back in it. Oh my lord, can none of my defenders take this guy down? Good lord. Ugh, swear to God. And he tacks on the extra points. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Let's see what's going on at Louisville. A tight game. Two relentless fighters exchanging blows. The Huskies on top by three. Midway through the fourth quarter. Ten-point game here, Reese. 17-7. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's hit and got away. He's tackled at the 22-yard line. Flag on the play. Wait, what? Let's see what it is. Personal foul. Clipping. Receiving. What? Oh, my God. That one's going to put him way Still back. First you just can't block a player from behind like that, or it's going to cost you. Just about ready to call the first play of this drive. They were able to pick up a Oh, we're still winning. It's possession. just pissing me off that we're just getting penalties right now. Oh, fuck me. He's taken down. <laughs> pick up of a yard for the tailback. That was the junior linebacker who will get credit with the tackle there. Oh, shoot. I think it glitched. Yeah, the count the points counters glitched. I can't see a thing. Uh, that's not supposed to happen. What the... What the... What's going on? This is actually starting to freak me out. Why the hell is the scoreboard gone? Yeah, what happened to the damn scoreboard? 
What? It's gone. I don't. I don't even. What? He's under some heat. He's going left. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Hoffman, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it third and eleven. Yeah, that's not supposed to happen. A little toss across the middle. And he's tackled around the 27-yard line. That brings up fourth and three. It's not over yet, folks. We head to the fourth quarter. Please, game, fix the damn scoreboard. Because I have no idea what down I'm on. Thank you! Okay, we got it back! <laughs> Thank you, uh, D Money, uh, YNT, uh, BTE. Thank you so much for the, uh, follow there, buddy. Holy crap, this is. That was weird. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before, so. You know what, screw it. We're gonna punt it because we're too close to our side of the, Welcome back to the side action of the field here right as now. we resume play here in quarter number four. McDonald will be the return man. Booming kick. Brought down at the 38. The Eagles have a defense that's a sight to behold, Kurt. Well, they just play with a chip on their shoulder. They are all over the field. The defensive line knows their job. The linebackers, the safeties, the corners. Everybody plays as one, and they've been fun to watch today. Last drive ended with as good a result as you can hope for, and I'm sure they'd like to replicate that here. He gets rid of this one. It's second and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. God, was it hack it on? Yes! And they got it. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. That was beautiful. I think that was Cook too, because Cook's one of our uh, one of our uh, veterans of the team, and he just got one hell of a sack. I think. Yeah, that was Cook. That's what I thought. Showing why he's king. Let's go. Even the most conservative offensive team needs to open it up in a situation like this. They need to start putting the ball in the air. McMillan oh, wow. is waiting for the snap. Hill takes it at the 45. Flag for what? 46-yard line. Flag down, and I'm not Whistle sure foul. when it Clipping. was thrown. Let's find out. Oh, bullshit! Flipping is the call, and Still now they'll have down. to find a way to make up those oh yards right here. Oh my freaking god, I hate this freaking ref. From their own 39-yard line. First down. Now he's got room to run. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 49. Ryan right Woods, run! To his receiver. To the 20. The 10. Yes! Down. Big play. Oh, thank God. This guy just continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. And doesn't it always seem like he just finds a way to get open? Seriously, I am so grateful for everyone's getting that ball. Yeah, let's keep our touchdown lead. And he hits the PAT. 
Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. The youths were ranked 24th. Now the loss is likely to knock them out of the poll. In the pregame, David and I thought this was impossible. But look what's happened. A major upset is now complete. UCLA wins it 34-27. Thanks, Reese. 24-7 in our game here. Miller ready to kick. Excellent kick. Oh, yeah, I can't wait for the new college football game to come out. I'm actually very excited, personally. I'm kind of hoping that they allow for creative teams that doesn't involve online because this is actually one of the biggest weaknesses of NCAA Football 14. I, I'm not able to create my own team at all due to the fact the online services are out. So that does kind of suck. And the only way to do it now is through, I think, modding or something. Which sucks because I really wanted to maybe recreate the melon heads from the Backyard Sports Series. Quick strike to the receiver. Out of bounds at the 34. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. They come out in a five wide set. Throwing left. It's caught. First down, and he's out of bounds. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. Get to that on. Brought down right around the 40. McDonald on the tackle. The 40 yard line. That'll make it second and four. They come out on an empty backfield. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. They're about four yards away here on third down. Just under three to go in regulation. Throws out to the back, and it's through his hands. All right, they're going to go for the field goal, or nope, they're actually going to go for it. All right, let's, get, let's put some pressure on them. Come on. Gets it. He's in space. Really? And he's taken down. How did he just shave up? My God, Lee. Really? How is no one covering him? Um, currently, I play a few teams. A uh, lot. When I was a kid, I used to play uh, University of Washington. I played uh, uh, University of Georgia, and I think University of. I think I've played Louisiana University as well. Oops, I meant to go for special teams. Um, let's see. And he adds uh, the extra point. I've done. Seventy-four yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow them down. The score now, twenty-four uh, fourteen. But yeah, usually it's University of Washington, um, and. Uh, California. They got into the end but zone now, time. currently, I'm playing as Eastern Washington University in uh, this series. Oh, God. Brown is gone. Unless... Nope. I should have just kept going. <clears throat> First and ten. Ball on the twenty-one. Here we go. Just over two minutes in the game. Throws ball and back and got his man. They'll bring him down at the fifteen yard line. <coughs> Arizona's gonna take their first time out of the half. Don't blame them. Here we go. 
a man in and out of his hands. Understandably, he got hit in the head. Oh, really? Cool. Yeah, I actually just faced Texas a few times, and... I actually, no, I think I faced them once, and we just barely won against them. Just barely. I'm not even joking when I say that Texas is one of the tougher teams. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. The worst part about that game is that it was raining, and... And it was a while ago. This was before I ever did the uh, streaming part of this. Oh, shit. Tackle made around the 16-yard line. Those linebackers do a great job of stopping the run. Normally, I would go pass. for it, but I'm actually going to play it safe, and I'm going to go for the field goal. Yards through the air. Kicks away, and it is there we go. Here's an update from the studio and restate. The Ducks were ranked 15th. Their job, don't get caught nappy. They did that, and then some. They hope to move up in the polls next week. And for Oregon, they continue their winning ways. Right now, I think that our best chance to getting into the ranked teams again is to take on and defeat Oregon. It's our best bet right now. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I don't think we're facing Texas this year, but uh, I think we may. I may actually choose to face that team next season. Because I feel like we're going to definitely need to be prepared to take them on eventually the once we have the, the players we need. Hope to have the same success they had on their last drive. <laughs> this offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receiver. There we go. Let's go, Cook. Another sack. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. Why do a hurry up after the fact? Oh, I see. Okay, that's actually a smart call right there. Oh, oh, Elden Oh, was two or two years ago. Okay. Third down and long coming up here. Ball on the 15-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quickly, and he's got his man. That dude literally outran our freaking cover back, or cornerback. Are you serious? They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. And he's knocked down immediately after the catch. Call it a gain of 13 yards. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 24-yard line. Pass to the halfback. He dropped it. Between the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Oh, there we go. Has something in my teeth. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five wide set. Wilson makes the reception. Call it a gain of 15 yards. That makes it first and goal. He gets rid of this one. We're a goal line. Let's do goal line zone. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Come on, let's do this, team. Come on. The run here with a goal line defense. Got a man open. Touchdown. He makes the PAT. So an eight play, 75 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue. Nice job, Hurd. Nice job, nice job, nice job. Tackle at the 33. Illegal touching. 
offense. What? Who the hell did he touch? Oh, you little shit. Still first down. Jeremy Washington, stay away from my freaking players, you piece of shit. Seriously. This is where the offense has to come to the forefront. They work all week for situations like this. They've got the lead. They've got a chance to add to it, and that would mean a victory. He makes it to the 38-yard line. The Wildcats using their third and last timeout. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 38. Just over a minute left. And down he goes. Right around the 38-yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. Gotta try to run the clock down. He has some room. He's at midfield. He gets hit out of bounds. At the Shit, that was actually not what we were intending, but we still have 20 seconds left on the clock. We just gotta run it one more time. There it is. Game over. We won. We finally got revenge on Arizona from last season. That is revenge. The Eagles know that they have to enjoy this guy while they've got him because actually it was actually um Arizona that injured uh, Mario Brown last season, so he gets payback for getting over 250 yards rushing. So in my case, that is him getting revenge on Arizona for injuring him. The whole should feel good about their performance. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long. Absolutely fantastic run. Even though we did struggle in the passing game in the start of the game, but thanks to having Lee Ward, I have a good feeling that he may be the, our star quarterback for the foreseeable future. Yes, just uh, exit out, and we're actually going to do a depth chart change. And Patterson, I'm sorry, buddy, for you have failed on several games for the passing. You did good at the start, but then you revealed your true colors right in the halfway point. So I'm sorry. We may have to use you as a backup quarterback from now on. I just don't see any chance of him being the uh, starting quarterback this season. So... Here we go, team management, depth chart. Sorry, but Lee Ward. You've earned this, buddy. Yep. Lee Ward is taking over as the team's uh, newest uh, star quarterback. I just don't see any good things with this dude. With the other dude. Like, come on. Now time for the coach skill trees. Considering we, d we already have everything maxed out for this tree right here for recruiting, we're going to start working on progress for this one right here. Coach Dredd, thank you so much for the follow, my friend. Good to have you with us, and welcome to the stream. Okay, so, uh... There we go. Alright, so we got that one. We are good. Oh, uh, yep. Oh, I have to get another one. So how you doing there, Coach Dredd? 
Hope everything's good for you. Time to advance the week and pray that we at least got somewhat of a lead with Hero. If not, then we may need to work harder on our next game. Oh, thanks, man. Um, yeah, currently right now, um, we're still trying to recruit some players. I'm kind of hoping the hero sticks with us. It would be nice. We could really use an amazing wide receiver right now, especially since we're going to be losing two of our wide receivers uh, in the upcoming uh, next seasons, uh, this season. So we're going to lose them afterwards. So it's going to really suck losing them at this point. Act not uh, 54 thank you so much for the like on the stream, buddy. And because we did start a little bit late due to the fact I had some people showing up over at my place as well as, uh, as, well as my uh, dogs uh, being little shits and just t wasting my damn time while I was trying to get ready, uh, we'll be extending the stream uh, up until this point. Let's see. Um, Hiro Sakai is still battling in three schools. Justin Cole is still battling. We got Sean Freeman. That is great. All right, so Sean Freeman along with Barrett Lawrence are currently with us now. Uh, we just lost William Culp, which... Uh, actually, no, sorry. We lost Benjamin Nelson. Sorry, we lost him. William Culp is still in the battle with a school again, with one school, and we're the other school. And, of course, with the battle of three schools, both Hiro Sakai and Justin Cole. If everything goes well... We might get something, but yeah, we got a two, we got a five and three star prospect. That is exactly what we we're hoping for. Oh, thank you so much for the uh, like on uh, Facebook, Coach Dread. Thank you. Uh, uh, Pacific. Uh, I'm in Pacific Standard Time, but uh, yeah, but yeah. Basically, right now we're just trying to uh, get a few things here. All right, so with the points we now have, which is now available, we're gonna put some uh, stuff, put some uh, scores into some potential new recruits. So I'm actually going to uh, remove some players that we know for a fact we're not gonna be able to get. So, all right, let's see, who do we have that? Let's see this guy. That's already improvement. We're taking him. Uh, nah, not too bad, but we'll just stick, not do anything about that right now. Um, uh, damn, that hit hard. Oh, well. We'll do. We'll put some points into this guy, and we'll put and we'll scout him out. That is actually good. We're definitely gonna try to grab him. Yeah, we have a significant lead on this guy. I am definitely hoping to get him. Um, and next, we're gonna at least try for a at least offensive linebacker, and we're gonna go for Aaron Bullock, and let's see what he has. Shit. Okay, so that didn't necessarily help us out either. Okay, so that pretty much killed us, but <clears throat> hey, we got Sean Freeman, who we desperately need a kicker for, especially considering our uh, situation, and we have Barrett Lawrence, who's a great defensive tackle. I was going to support the other uh, NC delay content careers. Nice. All right, so with that in mind, um, we oh hold on. <clears throat> Oh, Pacific Northwest. Um, yes, I am. Pacific Northwest. Hence, I actually have the uh, shirt. I'll actually try to give you guys a close up here. Yep, I got the Eastern Washington football uh, shirt from the actual university, along with, of course, the actual EW hat. So I at least look somewhat of the part for this one. So 
I'm actually kind of hoping that Eastern Washington University is in the uh, next college football game because it would be awesome to have uh, have those uh, schools be a part of it. All right, so with that in mind, we are going to get ready to go in our match against Arizona State University. So here we go. Actually, wait, before I do, might get them down the line. I hope so. Anyway, um, I will be right back. I'll still keep it on this screen, but I will be right back. I need to do something. Okay, I'm back. Get my camera back on. Alright, uh, stand by. Alright, here we go. Alright, we're facing against Arizona State University. And I'm kind of hoping that we somehow win against them. If we can keep up our win streak, it would be nice. And as long as we don't have another freaking rainstorm coming at us, we should be fine. Come here, sweetie. It's all right. Come on, up we go. If you guys are wondering, uh, here's my little kitty. Here we go. Yeah, for, here she is. You okay, sweetie? You're all right. Alright. Come on, sweetie. Alright, let's get started. Right now, I have a feeling we might do well, hopefully. Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Pac-12 expansion has only enhanced this conference's credibility on a national scale. New coaches bringing great new innovative ideas, particularly on offense, gives this league an opportunity for a showcase like we're about to enjoy. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime.
Sun Devil Stadium, a window to both Arizona State University and the Valley of the Sun, the setting for this outstanding football melee. And now it's time for the coin toss, and it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Let's go ahead. Yes! All right, that means we get the ball first. Let's go. That's right, we get the ball second. Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. And thank God it's a sunny day, meaning that our passing should be a lot better now. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Decides to slide. Really, McDonald? Are you serious? He's tackled at the 41. Two yard loss for the halfback. Third down. Finally. They were doing the hurry up offense like freaking crazy. Like, why? Third down and seven. Ball on the 41 yard line. Here we go. Check, check. Navajo. Navajo. Oh, <laughs> Throws complete. He's got room to work. Tackle made at the 44 yard line. That's the kind of rangy flanker every quarterback wants to be throwing to. He did well to make sure he had enough yardage to pick up the first down. There's a strike complete, and he's taken down at the 32. Come on, guys. Are we really struggling against Arizona State? And it's caught. The five. Touchdown. Yes, we are, apparently. So it's the running back who shows off his hands on the touchdown. It's such a bonus to have a back who can contribute to the passing game. Arizona State is up by six. And he hits the PAT. So an eight-play, 75-yard drive. And that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. He'll return it from the four-yard line. 
He's taken down at the 31. The Eagles and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. Hard to get to guys and make tackles in space. The Eagles have a player that's up for national awards. It's all speculation right now. You can talk about awards after you win them. He's got to worry about playing this football game. It's first and 10. Ball on the 46. They run it left. And he's tackled the 39-yard line. Brad, I can remember the year that this young man enjoyed last year. Has everybody buzzing about the kind of season he can have this year. the stop at the 22 yard line well, it all comes down to how well the offense can sell the play action and in this case everybody did a great job and most importantly the corner bit on it first and ten ball on the 22 yard line quick throw out to the receiver he's taken down at the 10 yard line you don't always need to throw the ball with a lot of zip, although it does help in some cases. When you have accuracy like this guy, you can make all the throws. Two times, two times. Three down, three down. Hey, check my... There we go! Touchdown. Ow, I just cracked my freaking ankle. Ow! Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A quick update now. Here's Reed. Let's have a look at what's going on in Los Angeles. And for Arizona, they draw first blood. Arizona leads it 7-0. And for the Sun Devils... These kids can't start scoreboard watching. They need to continue to play this game. Miller, ready to kick. Ellis back to return. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. to his receiver and he's immediately tackled throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete this quarterback needs to be careful not to use his arm strength to try to force things because that's when mistakes happen. So it's third down and they've got about two yards to go. They'll bring him down right around the 36 yard line. in their short yardage package. Nice 
nice run there as they work the outside. Oh, did he get injured? Yikes. Hope he's okay. Well, let's take a look. I couldn't tell. It almost looked like he might have injured his wrist or something, but I couldn't tell. Oh, wow. Out for season. Dislocated elbow, broken collarbone. Jesus. Okay, so he just got the wind knocked out of him. Okay, he'll be okay. God, I feel bad for some of his other pl some of the other players on their team. They definitely lost some people. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. Nice run, and he's brought down. up tight defensively. Give to the tailback and he's met in the backfield. That is a loss of two yards. Still, Delgado's been doing such a great job at this point. So at the end of one, we get a tie game at 7-7. Oops, no, goal line. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one. Here we go, everybody. Let's do this. A short yardage defense here. And a quick throw. He's tackled. Oh. Gains about five yards on the play. That brings up fourth and goal. Can the defense make a stop? Fourth down and goal to go. We're at the one yard mm. line. I'm hoping we do. No, we don't. Oh, God bless it, man. God, we can't seem to catch a break. Arizona State with a six-point lead. And he converts the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. Let's take a look at scores around the country. And we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. And for Arizona, they're in danger of losing two straight. USC has the edge, 14-7. And for Arizona State, they played the Trojans last week. Everyone's all lined up, <coughs> ready for the kickoff. Kaufman from the four. He's tackled at the 23. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's got an opening. He's to the Run, floor. Mario, run! Oh, he's gone. Inside. There's no chance they're catching him. The 10. And he will score. And you know, Kirk, we get a chance to see one of the great players from last year. And if he has the kind of season he had a year ago, I mean, we could be talking about national awards. Hell freaking yeah. We'll be tied with the extra point. He makes the PAT. All right, we're tied. We're doing good. As long as we can keep up the uh, tie game, we should be fine. If we can get the lead, that'd be even better. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both these defensive coordinators have got to be going crazy right now. We've had four straight possessions in which these offenses have put points on the board. Y'all 
always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Gain of two yards. The ball, the ball, that the makes ball. it second and eight. throws this one away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. All right, let's try this. Gains his way to midfield. Where's our freaking defense at? Come on, team. Gets to about Finally. the seven yard line. There we go! Finally, we stole him. We're finally stalling him. Jesus, criminy's sake! Come on, guys, we got this. Just stick. Just try your best, guys. Come on. We just gotta hold him here. If we could get the ball back, that would be amazing. Okay. Uh, well. Okay, we didn't grab it, we didn't intercept it, but hell, it was at least we at least passed it, pushed it away. So, at least it's something. At least it's definitely some progress. Come on, guys! Don't let me down here. He takes it in at the 14. Tackle at the 25. Whoa. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Give to the tailback. He's to the 40. Across midfield, and he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 42. That makes it first and 10. Looking to capitalize on the big run. Now it's first and 10. Run, Edwards, run! Oh, my God! Kaufman! Why, man? Jesus Christ, we say Kaufman. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. Makes it first and goal. First down, and they'll bring it up first and goal inside the five. Defense stacked in tight here. There you go, Brent. Nice job. Short burst for the score. That's what happens when you can win the war in the trenches down near the goal line. And he adds the extra point. 
A four <sighs> 75 yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. But these guys got to be coming over the sidelines after touchdown after touchdown saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. So the score now 21 14. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Boss is out to the tailback on the screen. All right, only a yard. Down at the 26, the man defense proves to be too tough against the screen. That was an excellent job by the defenders. They fought off their blocks and found the ball before the play had a chance to develop. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 26. He might not be Let's go! They bring him down. Evan Cook with another sack. Third down. Seriously, there's a reason why this dude is a legend in our team for defense. He's been getting every single he's been getting a lot more of the sacks compared to every other defensive player we have. He just ran him over. Not gonna get it. Great stop. That's good for a game of 15 yards. That'll make it fourth and two. The Eagles taking their first time out of the half. Hill back to return it. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. The Eagles obviously have built their offense around this guy. And through two quarters, everything's working, Herbie. But, you know, you can't just rely on one guy. And he's got to be careful a little bit in the third and fourth quarter, too. Well, you want to keep pushing. I mean, he's off to a great start. This offense is obviously off to a great start. It's a four-quarter game. And, you know, the opponent's going to try to get back into this game, take some chances. So if this running back is smart, he'll continue to challenge himself, his offensive line, and the entire offense continue to try to put more points up on the board they're about four yards away here on second down, down, down. setting up play action let's nice show cough and run concentration to haul it in brought down around the 12 yard line the Eagles are gonna have to call their third and final timeout Right around the four yard line. With the tackle at the four yard line. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. And it pays. There we go! Alright, now we're two touchdowns ahead of them. from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Let's take a look at some scores around the country. The top team roll. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. The Wildcats unleash their aerial assault and find Pater. Right now, I'm just hoping that the South, Southern California loses only just so we can make sure that Two touchdown ball game some of the players we're hoping to get can then hopefully join us. So, nothing against the Southern California, but I really need them to lose this game if we're going to be able to uh, get some of the recruits we're hoping for. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Not much luck the last time this offense had the ball. the middle for a nice game 
Arizona State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Second, and three. second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Yeah, they're going to go for like a go for a long pass. That's the best thing they can do right now. They could try to run it, but I don't see that working. Lunch it all, going deep. Interception for McDonald. Let's go. We played a half of football. The Eagles lead 28-14. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We Davis, Dave Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. It is my job to come in and rain on a parade. I know, rain. Every, I know everything's gone right. I know they have all the momentum. I know that every little detail of the game plan has gone exactly as scripted. But, but, <laughs> overconfidence, too happy, too satisfied. How big a problem is that in the second half? But you always, you always have the excitement coming into the first half of a ball game, and you think it's going to be close when teams like this are evenly matched. But that doesn't mean you can lose your edge. That doesn't mean you can get complacent. A lot of times we see passion and energy in the first half and it starts to wither away. They got to make sure that they keep the energy up, continue to make plays. Don't think that, you, that you're there because we've seen momentum switch like that. As soon as somebody flips a switch, it's hard to get it going back in the other direction. So you got to take advantage of these opportunities. Mm -hmm. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brandon Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, so I'm going to pause for just a moment. I will be right back, folks.
Hey everybody, I'm back. Um, a few things before we get started with the second half of this of this game. One is that some of you guys are wondering about our sports series. Well, after deliberation between me and some of my co-workers, we felt like that the best thing we can do is to give you guys more retro games, hence to the retroactive name, and we're going to be doing those for sports series, which means backyard baseball, backyard football, backyard basketball, um, backyard soccer, which I managed to find. I also found, uh, here, let me show you. We got the discs over here. Yeah. You've already seen that, but yeah, I also have, uh, Lego Soccer Mania for PC I found. Maybe bring a little bit of that back. Backyard Hockey I somehow managed to find. Along with Backyard Soccer. And surprisingly, I found this one. I had this one when I was a kid. I didn't even realize I even still had this thing. But yeah, I have a whole bunch of sports games. And we'll be sticking with retro ones for our Retro Sports Network. So, or Retro Sports Series. Where I'll be doing entire franchises with the teams that are created. And these ones, like I stated before when it came down, I said... Uh, we're going to be uh, letting you guys vote. That is the one we're going to be letting you guys vote the most on. Because we're going to be turning that team into a series that you guys will have the option to be a part of. And to be a part of the, the draft process and whatnot. So it'll definitely be awesome to have you guys be a part of it. We'll make sure to put up a post... A community post on our YouTube channel because it's going to be a mainly a YouTube series but we will try to post the videos on Facebook and Twitter so that and of course we'll make sure to set up some sort of voting poll so that you guys will have a chance to have your character or have characters you want on the team to stick around and of course because the game uh, Backyard Baseball 2001 is modded meaning that we have the entire roster of players, not just the MLB stars of the backyard kids. We also have all the created characters for the game. Um, you guys will get a chance to pick who you guys want to see be a part of the team and whatnot. How you doing there, Chef Moose? Good to see you, bud. But yeah, that's basically the idea. I'm very excited to get started our recording that soon. We are going to do Super Mega Baseball, but I feel like I want to save that one for like a... 10 year anniversary so i'm prepping all of the recording already for that one so that way you guys will have a chance to see what we're going to be doing for a almost like a year long uh 10 year anniversary special uh series for the uh for those games and honestly i'm very excited about that um in terms of everything else though uh well we'll just have to figure out what we got Oh, God, that sounds so good right now. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I remember having gumbo for the first time. Oh, I'm not even joking. It was the best I've ever had in my life. That sounds really good right now. <laughs> God, it's already killing me. I really want some gumbo right now. Actually, crazy enough, there's actually a Louisiana restaurant over in our area that also happens to have a game place for it. Oh, shit. Oh, please don't tell me Kaufman got injured. If we lose Kaufman, we lose one of our best wide receivers. Okay, so it doesn't look... Alright, so maybe it was just him being winded. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Run, Brown, run! He's to the 40. Yeah! Inside the 30 to the 10. He scores. What a play. This is the reason why this dude is a Heisman Trophy winner. 
Once again, he finds the end zone. That's his second rushing touchdown of the game. When Heisman voters are trying to decide who will get their support, like, sweet lord, he was leaving them all in the dust. Like this one he's having here today. <sighs> Freaking Mario Brown, no joke, is just a legend. And you want to know the crazy thing is, people? I'll even straight up tell you. Actually, no, I'll, I'll do you better. I'll show you. How is this guy level an overall 84? This dude should at least be an overall freaking 90 for his performances so far. There is no way this kid is an overall 84. I don't believe it. His kick team lined up and he is this kid is just a off. Mario Brown is a literal nightmare on the field excellent kick but yeah chef moves that actually sounds it's really good right now shrimp and zone, chicken so gumbo back. god now I'm hungry <laughs> there's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now they don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back. If you're making it on your channel, I will, I will, actually, I'm just, I'm going to follow you just because if you're ever making it on stream, I want to see it. That makes it second and ten. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Let's go! You just take him down. After a decent run up the gut. That's a game six on the play. Come on, now we got third. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. This guy's got the combination of smarts and reliability that makes a receiver really dangerous. No wonder he's looked to on third down. He's taken down at about the 43-yard line. That makes it first and ten. They'll bring him down right around the 34. Oh, thank you, the bad boomer, for the uh, follow. Thank you, bud. That brings up second and one. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Tackled after decent pickup. Oh shit. Um, oh yeah, definitely. Alright, so they threw it out. Yeah, same here. This is one of my favorite NCAA football games of all time. He gets rid of this one. Personally, I hope that they allow for uh creating uh, teams as well as just overall wait, what the f And this is the eight. Okay, hang on for just a second. Why the heck is Brown at hold on? Is what is Brown on the defense team or something? Oh, wait, no, that's Alan Brown. Never mind, I keep forgetting that there's two of them. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn it. Makes it out to about the 19. Is out to the tailback on the screen. He gets hit out of bounds around the 10 yard line. That's good for a game of nine yards. That brings up second and one. There you go! 
Oh yeah, definitely. Personally, I would love to to build the melon heads from backyard football, and I want to try to uh, bring some of the uh, some of the characters from that game into NCAA football. I think that'd be pretty awesome. All right, we just gotta stall him here, folks. Come on, let's do this. There you go, nice job. All right, they're gonna go for the field goal. I'm gonna guess. If not, then yep, they are gonna go for the field goal. Let's do it. Let's stop them. Right here, folks. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Kicks away, and it splits the uprights. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. Let's have a look at some scores from around the country. Several surprises today. This one's been entertaining us all day long. Check out these two Come teams. on, Arizona. We need you to win against the, the uh, South California Trojans 20, 20, if we want to be able to get some of the recruits that we were hoping for. And for the Eagles, with all the momentum swings in college football, they better make sure they win this one and let the conference standings sort themselves out later. Garner has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Oh my God! Is please, please! Oh God, no! At the thirty, down the sideline. Please count! Please count! Please count! Please count! Longest kick return, one hundred yards, NCAA record. Let's go, Shaq Hill! Phenomenal effort. He did a great job of setting up his blocks. Let's go! NCAA record, baby! One of the greatest kick returns we've ever had in this series so far. Shaq Hill, the damn legend. Damn right, I agree. He's the GOAT. That was just perfection right there. That was beautiful. Holy hell! And he hits the PAT. That was just beautiful. I don't even care. Oh, whoops! That was way off. He really got a hold of that kick. No, we are not having back-to-back -back freaking kick return touchdowns. We'll be the only team that has one. Damn it! Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. And he throws it away. From their own 40-yard line. Second down. Oops, he, dro he dove a little too early there. Damn straight. Let's just keep this up, guys. We got this. All right, so they got themselves a first down. We still have a chance to really stop them here. With the pass incomplete. A little too much juice on that one. And this quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43. Oh, he hit his helmet! Oh, God, it hit his helmet. That's the reason why he couldn't catch it. I think he mis misjudged the, uh, the direction it was going towards, and it actually hit our teammate's helmet, and it literally bounced off, so... He couldn't necessarily do much of anything with that one. Almost had it. Nice job with the deflection, though. Nice job. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates. All right, Shaq Hill. Great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. Hill. Wait, are they gonna? Oh, yeah, touchback. Oh, 
So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. What a game it's been for him running the ball, Kirk. Well, it's a lot of fun when you're not getting touched until you get to the second level of the defense. That way, he has plenty of room to be able to make some big plays. He's just given this defense fits because of his ability to make big plays, and already we've seen him get into the end zone. Okay, they know the run game now, so we're going to have to really start uh, trying something new here. He's tackled for a loss. I have an idea. From their own 18 yard line. Second down. Damn it, Ward. I said throw, you dumb. God bless it. They'll make the sack. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Good job. Nice job, Nicholas. He throws it. Well done. Great catch, and he's out of bounds. And that's the way you're supposed to play pitch and catch. Absolutely. You know, this wide receiver is a difference maker. He's one of those oh, wait. players that has a chance to go the distance every that's time. That's a good call. The ball. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. Oh, no, no, no. He had his foot off. Damn it. The referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks Wait, like what? they made the correct call on the field. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. How? Well, I Even I saw from my angle that it, his foot was out. The field stands. Oh, well, I'll take it. But, wow, I actually did not expect that. Wow. I actually was fine with taking the uh, fourth down because technically it looked like his foot was out, but maybe, maybe it hit when he had, maybe he might have reached out with his foot. Oops, I meant to throw it to Edwards. So, gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. And down he goes at the 44. Nice catch, Kaufman. Nice job. And they make the stop at the 41. Martin on the tackle at the 41 yard line. That makes it. Oh, third quarter's over. Not much of a contest here as we. 42 to 17. We are just the destroying Eagles them right now, but we can't be complacent. We gotta stay. We gotta stay focused on the task at hand. Right now, we already know for a fact that currently we're doing good, but that could change in a heartbeat. Well, folks, we resume action here in the fourth quarter. We'll hope for some action because so far. Shoot again, wrong person. I'm aiming for the tight end. Why are you throwing to the wide receiver, Lee? Come on, buddy. I didn't even press the button. That's the thing. I didn't even press the button for him to pass it to him. But that's what happened. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. Now that was what I was, uh, I was hoping for. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. That's a gain of four on the play. That'll bring up third and six. We're at play number nine of this current drive. First down. There you go, Brown. Nice job. They'll give it off here. Nice job, Brown, with the first down. Right around the 24 yard line. Call it a gain of 13 yards. First down. From the 24-yard line, first down. Oh, that hit his helmet instead of his hands. Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. That makes it second and ten. 
Here's the 11th play of the drive. Here we go. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. He's tackled at the 13. That's a game of 11 on the play. First down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 13-yard line. Center, let's go! Good protection. He's Freaking tight end! Fires quickly the tight end. He's got it. Touchdown. The tight end scored that time, and with authority. Brad, he's a physical football player, but he's also got the finesse to make a big impact in the passing game. He splits the yes! The extra point. Reese Davis yes! in the studio with this update. Reese. Off to L.A. we go. And for Arizona, they become bowl eligible with this win. And for Quinn, he puts up terrific Holy crap. four touchdown passes. The Wildcats win it by three. Reese, we're in the midst of a blowout, my friend. Miller is lined up to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Eagles' defense came to play, and man, they have played beautifully. How many do they have dressed out there? 12 or 13 <laughs> defenders? I mean, they're flying all over the field, and this poor offense just can't move the ball. They have no chance. The deficit is huge, but as a player, you never want to slow down your effort. Believe me, coaches notice the ones who... Nice job. Stop them from the run. Takes a handoff inside and stopped immediately. Boy, the defender was just sitting back there waiting to make that big hit. He realized he couldn't get there for the interception, so he did the next best thing. He timed up his hit by the time the quarterback threw the football. As soon as the receiver touched the football, he made that big hit to be able to get the football. Nice job! Three-yard loss. They go to the screen here, and the halfback's got it. And he's taken down around the 22-yard line. All right, we're actually doing incredible right now. Arizona State has pretty much just lost all hope in winning this game. Johnson awaits the snap. Oh my god! Are you serious? A play and turn and kick return touchdowns in one game! Wait, what? No! He returns it all the way to school. Oh my god, really? They put the points on the board, but they might have to Damn it! That's frustrating for a coach when you preach fundamentals every week. Oh god, that sucks, man. And he would have gotten a punt return touchdown as well. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 36. Damn it. That would have been awesome if he had both, but... Brought down in the open field. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. Crap, Lee, I think Gaxa like tripped. Throws off balance. This one will fall incomplete. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that, that was close. Yeah, but I think uh Ward tripped. Second and ten. Ball on the fifty. Zips it to the back. Brought down right around the 40. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. Will you be wrong? Because Brent Rhodes is here! 
makes it to the 31. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. First and 10. Ball on the 31 yard line. Three down, three down. Ready. On the ground with the tailback. Gets out to around the 18. That's good for a gain of 13 yards. First down. Two times, two times. Two down, two down. Mike 40, Mike 40. Ready. Green 95. Green. Check, check. Eagle. Touch. Man can't tack on any yardage. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Just over a minute left. Here they come. Throws it to the outside. That's incomplete. Sure, it's disappointing, but this is the kind of mechanical flaw you can fix with practice and coaching. And this play is number eight on the drive. There we go! Hurd! Hell yeah! Fires quickly. Touchdown! Keeper, just keep it moving for Kirk and I, will you? We want to get out of here. And he tacks on the extra point. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. Action unfolding in Louisville. And for UCF, they're looking for their fourth straight win. UCF on top, 3-0. And we thank you, Reese Davis. Back to the action here. They line up to kick this one away. Ellis deep to return. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 23. Late in the fourth quarter, this game's not even close. It's a blowout. A lot of folks have already gone home. And Herbie, I think we're going to make our dinner reservation. They come out in an empty backfield. And that just Damn Lee. intercepted. I think that interception pretty much sums up this whole game. The throw was lousy, and the defense simply stepped up and made yet another play. First and 10, ball on the 34. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy... Yeah, he got stuck in the offensive line. That's why. We have less than a minute to go. Quick out to his receiver. He's taken down at about the 31. down and they need to get it to the 24. And he's tackled at the 15-yard line. The Eagles will use their first time out of the half. That makes it first and ten. Tackles him hard at the two. Great job by the quarterback. He had a slant called against zone coverage and threw it at the perfect time. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. And there's another one. He's having quite a game. Three rushing touchdowns now. What a day this young man is having. If there are any doubts coming into this game of whether this defense could stop the run, this guy has answered that with his last touchdown run. And he converts the extra point. 
So a five-play, 34-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. Yeah, we pretty much won this hands down. I kind of feel bad for the other team. For a touchback. But, Jesus, criminy sake. I did not expect to absolutely destroy them like we have right now. The lights went out a long time ago, for one of these teams anyway. They'll be put out of their misery soon. And a quick throw. And he's level at the 42-yard line. Another interception! Intercepted, and I think I can hear the fat lady singing. Tackle at about the 49. I was just gonna throw it. Ward. No real point in trying to go for it, but yeah, might as well. And this one's broken up. <laughs> the Eagles know that they have to enjoy this guy while they've got him because somewhere down the line he's gonna be at the next level. Well, that'll definitely be in his future, but for now, he Unreal. needs to and just enjoy this performance and. And really, the play caller, the quarterback, the offensive line, the receivers, the entire group as, as, as just a whole should feel good about their performance. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad. That Lester is saying, absolutely so insane. Possibly one of our best performances so far that is against a pretty decent team. According to the list, we are the 24th best team in the nation. Which is pretty awesome to hear. Uh, but yeah, look at that. Win a game. But yeah, this is our most proud... The, I am the most proud of freaking Shaq Hill with this right here. The NCAA record for the longest kick return in history. That is something I never expected and I've been so proud of these kids. Also, 100% red zone efficiency. 21 or more points. Seriously, this team has just been absolutely killing it. And I couldn't be any more proud of this team. What an absolute thrashing that the Eastern Washington University Eagles just gave them. What an absolute destruction of the enemy team morale. Hopefully that might have uh, gotten something from the other... Uh, players hopefully that might inspire them to join our team i'm hoping we have several students visiting us from the university of washington which it's going to be one hell of a game and like i said before due to the late start and everything and everybody else just showing up out of nowhere we'll be doing a uh a uh uh, extension on the stream so we'll be going a little bit longer than we usually do I'm really hoping some of the players that we have are hoping to recruit, get recruited by us. Southern California losing was one of the biggest things we could have gotten right now. Now I'm just hoping we get something. Recruiting battle, recruiting battle, recruiting, 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 recruiting. Holy. Wow. Alright, so this is what we got. Eddie has committed to Louisiana Tech. That's totally understandable. That's fine. 
Justin Schmidt has committed to UCLA. Ruben Stone has committed to UC, uh, Army. Uh, Ronnie Anderson has committed to Missouri. That's understandable. Uh, we got um, Hiro Sakai is still in the battle, battle and battle. So we're still with that. However, it looks like for the student right here, Justin Cole, it looks like that two of the schools dropped. And now it's just meet our school, the Eastern Washington, and one other. So it looks like it's just down to the last two. As for, of course, uh, Marcus Bell, Kevin Archer, Eric Williams, Billy Gilroy, uh, S Joe Stanley, Dylan Schultz, Keith Woods, are, as well as Brian Jones, will all be visiting this week in possibly one of our biggest recruiting efforts so far. This has been an absolute amazing run we've had up to this point. Now we just gotta hope and pray that we somehow make it through this. So here we go. We got around 600, 6,300 points. We are going to get rid of any players we cannot have. All right. So also, Hiro Sakai is joining. That's good. So he'll also be added to the one of the students who'll be showing up today for the game. We have a significant lead on him. Now I'm just kind of hoping that things go well. As you guys can see, um, that definitely helped us out. We now have a lead on Justin Cole. Um, it has been absolutely nuts. Uh, you know what? Since we are getting a considerable lead, we are going to put some points into him. So, yeah. Any teams that we don't have a guarantee on and we're just way behind, we're just going to outright just refuse. We're not even going to try to go for it and we're just going to take all the points we have on them and just shift them over. You know, like here, Keith Woods, I don't see us getting him, so we're going to drop all those points. And we're actually going to put at least around the remaining 500 into DJ Walters, hoping we might be able to at least get something with DJ. We still have around 200 points. We're going to remove this prospect since he's already been taken. We're removing Ruben Stone, Ronnie Anderson, and Eddie Morris. That only just leaves the two we already have. I am going to do this because, because I am very curious to see what his overall score is. And maybe we just... Oh, it's not that bad. Just only a one minus and no stat changes. That's fine. Um, do we have? We have a significant lead. We'll just put the rest. We'll put 100 points into him and we'll give him a scholarship. Hopefully that hopefully guarantees we can get Eric Williams in this whole thing. So right now, this is our best opportunity we got. Right now, our mission is to hopefully get something out of this. So let's take a look at the visit. All right, so we're going to do uh, ready to visit. We're going to schedule a visit. And it, it will also be with... We're going to also have him visit. We have 16 players visiting. Okay, so it looks like we're going to definitely need to get around 250 yards passing. Which means we're, we're going to really have to work hard in order to get those uh, teams ready to go. And because the Texas lost, they actually have a chance to really uh, go for us next time. So here we go. Um, next, of course, is Eric Williams. We have to get two sacks with a linebacker. Uh, offensive line, rush over uh, offensive uh, line. Yeah, rush over for over 1,000 yards. Pass for over 250 so yeah, that should be pretty easy. 
because I'm not, I'm honestly, it's the rushing yards I'm not afraid of. The passing yards may be a little bit of a struggle, but we're going to try. Have three sacks in the defensive line, two tackles for loss in the defensive line. Um, pass for over 250 yards. Um, base visit score, okay. Um, let's see, uh, complimentary visit, uh, goals, all right, so. Um, Dylan Schultz, uh, pass for over 200 yards. Over 250 yards, so we're going to have to make sure that passing is the name of the game in this one. Uh, again, uh, with this one, uh, either two interceptions would definitely help, though we could have swatted passes. Um, uh, let's see, swatted passes. Okay, so I think we may have an opportunity here to really make a difference here, so this will be our big game. If we manage to pull this off, we're set for life with the rest of these players. So here we go. So our goal is to get passing yards and rushing yards. The interceptions and everything, we're going to have to pray to... we got to have to pray to God on this one if we're going to make this one work. Because right now, I don't see us really making a difference right now in the whole uh, getting... Um, interceptions but we're gonna try if we can get some interceptions in this game and just hold on to our lead as long as we can that would be possibly the best thing we can do up until this point so we just gotta pray we make it through this so hopefully you guys are uh here cheering cheering for us because right now we are gonna need all the support we can get if we want to win this And we're facing down against one of the best passing defenses. Uh shit. And that's going to be even worse. Because we need to get past our passing defense. Hi everybody, Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports. And we're at home, so that's even, that's even more important. Presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Eagles have not only put together a nice winning streak, they're starting to play at a much higher level, and they've energized their entire campus. Now the question is, will they be able to handle everybody on campus, patting them on the back, telling them how good they are, and telling them how they expect a big win in this one? That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. Biggest rival game of our series happens now. Please, please. Yes! All right, we get the ball in the second half. Let's go. Enjoy everything. That is what I was hoping for. All right, so this actually helps us out here. Miller has the ball teed up, and we're just about ready to get this one started. He just drills this one. Rule around the corner. Knocked out of bounds. Around the 27-yard line. Washington's coaching staff so confident they know they've got a guy that's one of the best running backs in the country and that they can just play their game and not worry about the fact they're on the road. Well, Brett, his big playability not only can give you big chunks of yards on the road, but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere and allow. There we go. Nice job with the stop right there, guys. Nice job. And just being able to run and be able to communicate. And I think that's a big challenge for this team. So look for his big playability to maybe even out the atmosphere and give this offense a chance to be able to execute. And he just gets rid of it. Washington's got a guy that's in a running for a national award here, Herbie. And, you know, the best time to talk about awards really is after you win them. Right now, it's all speculation. He's just got to play the game. From their own 31-yard line, third down.
makes the catch and gets out of bounds. Quarterbacks just love this scenario. He had his man one-on-one -on, -one on a corner out versus man coverage, and you just saw it. Okay, yeah, he was in. It results in an easy first down. And he's taken down around the 42-yard line. Good, solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. They make the stop at about the 33 yard line. That brings up second and one. Throws it in a hurry. Very good tackle in space. Number seven makes the tackle at the 11 yard line. First down. All right, come on, team. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Defense stacked in tight here. Touchdown, Washington. Damn it. All right, not looking good right now. Washington up six and he tacks on the extra point here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis time to take a look at the Pac-12 where quarterbacks rule it felt as if the game rested on every play and for Williams he had a touchdown catch the Utes pull it out by a field goal elsewhere the Terrapins came into the game ranked third that's not going to last this was a tight one to the very end the Hokies get the W, 38-31. And for Washington, they met up with Utah last week. Washington and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Hoffman deep to return. Hill fields it at the two. He's to the 20. Let's go! Yeah! To the 20. Here's an open. Holy hell! Shaq Hill with another kick return touchdown. Well, you see how he allowed that play to develop. That is two. That's a great job. A back-to-back -back kick return that, touchdown. He has, you've got somebody who can make these kinds Holy of Holy shit. Unreal. Here's the PAT. Our first possession is a kick return touchdown by Shaq Hill. Let's go. And he adds the extra point. Dude's an absolute legend. I'm so proud of him. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. All right, so I'm going to pause for just a moment. I will be right back.
Hey everyone, I am back. It is time to continue. Here we go. Oh no. Let's try it. I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out. In the nice jump. Wait. That, football and drove that almost looked like he had his helmet. Up on the board. I think it really Let's take a look. Oh, no. He grabbed his shoulders. All right. Never mind. This defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they start to get a little bit fatigued. I think anytime you lose yardage, it's frustrating as a ball carrier. It's very frustrating as a play caller. Makes you a little bit more hesitant maybe to go back to a certain play. The biggest thing you want to do is an offensive coordinator is get the offense over the sideline after the series. Make sure nice job with the deflection. Page. There you go. Show the confidence that you still have in them despite this play that you're going to go right back to the running back and trust that offensive line. What shot? The defender tips it away. This just shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing game. <sighs> it's third down and 13 to go. Ball on the 22 yard line. Nice job with the deflection there. Nice job, Dwayne McDonald. Going deep. Almost picked off. Nice job getting All right, here we go. Come on. Heads up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. Patton is waiting for the snap. Let's go, Shaq Hill. All right. He's hit and got away. He's pushed out of bounds around the 39 yard line. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Throws out and through his hands. Second down and... Oh, let's go! Got an opening. He's at the 30. Inside the 10. And he scores. Touchdown. Mario Brown, the freaking legend. From last year, and if he has the kind of season he had a year ago, I mean, we could be talking about national awards. He makes the PAT, a quick two-play, 39-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. The score now, 14-7. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent nice kick. job. Well, let's keep it up, team. He's tackled at the 19-yard line. Never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their. What do I have in there? Just need to go out there and play. They come out in a five-wide set, and he throws it away. From their own 19-yard line, it's second down. Bounds at the 23 yard line. That's good for a game of four yards. Nice job, Williams. Ha ha ha. Tackle for loss, baby. Delayed handoff, and he's not going to get back to the line. A loss of two yards on the play. That makes it fourth and eight. Hill is the deep man awaiting the return. Hill takes it the 36, and he makes it out to about the 47 yard line. Oh, 
They're ready to begin another drive. It's first and ten. Ball on the 42. Nice job, Hurd! He's tackled at about the 27 yard line. Nice job, Brown. Nice job. Pressure coming. Got a man complete, and he's hit hard. Fred, remember the year that this guy had last year? Looking at him yesterday in practice, he looks bigger, he looks stronger, he looks faster. Look out this year. He's going to have a better year this year than he even had last year. From the run, bro, run! Second down. Yes! Hell yeah! Gets the ball inside the 10, and he's in the end zone. Touchdown. Let's go. What an amazing performance from our team. We are destroying Washington right now. As long as we keep up our great defense and our amazing, and amazing offense, we'll do just fine. set and he looks ready to kick this one deep he sends this one deep this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback they need to show a little giddy up now because if they don't start eating into this deficit they could easily fall out of the game there you go. Stole them. Fires out to his wideout. He's taken down at the 34. Gain of nine on the side. That brings up second and one. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. It's a game of seven on the play. First down. Hurry, hurry. On the ball, on the ball. Nice run, and he's brought down. Game of five yards. That'll make it. Oh, thank you, uh, Coach of Hockey One. Thank you so much. Uh, use his body as a way to trip him. Nice. Makes it to the 41. Maybe after a nice run like that. Uh, sure. What's up? Up in the air for the play action pass. Come on! Come on! Come on! There we go. There we go. Stall them, pe stall them, team. Let's go. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Good for a gain of six yards. We're through one quarter. But yeah, what's your uh, question, bud? Uh. And we're ready for. Maybe we've already beaten them at least. We've already beaten them again. Let's go interception! Let's go! Got some open field. But yeah, um, honestly, I really don't know. Right now in this game, they're not that good. They're decent, I would say, as a decent college for this game, but I wouldn't say that they're the best one. If you're going for efficiency, you're better off playing teams like Georgia or... Uh, or uh, potentially, and I mean do potentially, um, 
Washington University, Alabama, one of those teams. If you want to go for more consistency. But if you're going for your, but if you want to try to win with your favorite team, then that's totally up to you. At least that's how I see it. Gets it. He's in space. And he's tackled right around the 30. Great job by the quarterback. He had a slant called against zone coverage. Yeah, I think it might be a while before we actually can reach. First and 10. Ball on the 30. Oh, I was just about to throw it! They'll make the sack. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. That makes it second and 14. Two times, two times! He steps out around the 34-yard line. No game. That brings up third and 14. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. He delivers. Off his hands, incomplete. Hoffman, the intended receiver on the play. Oh, let's go! That's his longest field goal. 51 yards. Damn, that was close. If it was Mutant Football League, we'd be getting at least 50 points from that. I'm oh, sorry, not 50 points, uh, 5 points from that. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Quarterback couldn't maintain possession on their last drive. Let's see what he does here. Nice job, we'll Cook. Nice job. Is when they come back out. I wouldn't be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. Tackle at the 25. About the 39 yard line. 15 yards on the play. First down. Caught. And he's level at the 46 yard line. Williams on the tackle at the 46 yard line. That'll bring up second and three. They'll bring him down at the 49. Call it a gain of three yards. That makes it first and ten. Nice job with the sack. Nice job. He's wrapped up for the sack. Man, as an offensive lineman, this is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of it. They come up to the line here in second down and 14 after the sack. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. That's a gain of four on the play. That makes it third and 11. Get out, get out, get out. All right. And they couldn't hook up on that one. 
that's going to bring up fourth down. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. Patton awaits the snap. Okay, that didn't go as well as we hoped. And down he goes at the 21. The Eagles are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. Things are on the verge of getting out of here. All right, he's rushed for 80 yards. He's almost at 100. Drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. And down he goes at about the 33-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Nice job, Coffin, with a catch. the stop right around midfield he's got to throw it in a hurry I love the toughness here by this quarterback Sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. Nice job, Williams, run! Nice job! Where's it out to the right to the half? We're getting closer. He's at the 30. He's knocked out of bounds. That's the 22. Well, the defense has got to be very frustrated. They just gave up a huge play. They were in position to make a play on the football, but the quarterback and wide receiver and their chemistry, they were able to overcome the tight coverage from the defense. Gets it out quickly, and he's taken down at about the 23-yard line. They get a one-yard loss on that one. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Second down and 11. Ball on the 23-yard line. He gets out to about the 14-yard line. Nice job! Nice job, Ron Williams, for the five-yard rush. That puts us at 100 rushing yards. We hit the minimum necessary if we're going to be able to get that offensive line stuff right now. Nice job, Edwards! Touchdown, baby! We're up to 96 yards. We're still a ways to go before we can reach the uh, the 250 mark. Uh, he's going through the pole. And he tacks on the extra point. An eight play, 79 yard drive. And they come away with seven points. So our score, 31-7. Miller has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Okay, come on, let's go team! It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Someone stop him! Jesus, wait, did he... Makes it out to about the 33. Sharp gains around eight yards on the run. Washington Hold on, did he get injured? That would suck if he did, but still. It would actually help us out. So it's... Oh, he's out for the game with a mild concussion. Yikes. Guy, I feel bad. 
That wasn't e wasn't even our intention. We were just trying to get him out of the freaking area, but we didn't expect to give him a concussion. Yikes. Down and about two yards to go. Well, at least it was... Um, at least it was a mild one, so he won't be suffering any real big effects from it, hopefully. We played a half. The Eagles in front, 31 7. Wait, I forgot to throw this over to the recycle, so I'll just put it right here. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. The first half was a complete mismatch. We did not expect a margin like this. Now the question becomes, not only are you down on the scoreboard, David, but you're down mentally. What kind of toll does a beating like this team took in the first half have on your psyche? Well, when you come into a game and, and you're favored or it's supposed to be a really close contest and then all of a sudden you start getting kicked around, I think the first thing is, do I belong? <laughs> Am I really as good as I thought I was? And they got a second half to come out and prove it, but right now, They've had no answers whatsoever. Everything has gone the other way. Everything's gone poorly. Everything's gone bad. So if they're going to turn this around, they better start believing that they belong and come out in the second half and start making some plays. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all this. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. Brought down to the 24-yard line. Boy, this offense has been consistent throughout this entire football game. The quarterback's doing a good job of leading this team. How about the offensive line, the job that they've done? Just a great team effort to allow this offense to have a spectacular performance. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. That'll bring up second and 11. From their own 23-yard line. Really? Throws it out and it falls incomplete. Edwards was the intended receiver on the play. Third down. God, I was kind of hoping that would work, but nope. That actually just killed our drive. Nice run to the outside. Sometimes when you think you've got great plays called, the yeah, defense we're yeah, we're punting it. There's no question. Price is back awaiting the punt. <laughs> He's to the 40. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. Pretty good job by the return man there. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle made around the 50-yard line. McCarthy makes the tackle at the 50-yard line. That brings up second and one. Five wide. He's tackled at the 40. Peoples on the tackle at the 40-yard line. First down. On the ball, on the ball. Hustle back, hustle back. Pass complete and taken down immediately. That's good for a gain of five yards. That makes it second and six. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Easy, easy, easy. Easy, easy. <laughs> makes the catch and look out. And he hits him hard at the 25-yard line. That's a gain of 10 on the play. First down. Yeah. 
Fires incomplete. Miller, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. <laughs> From the 25-yard line, it's second down. Tries to buy some time. He's taken down around the 24 yard line. That brings up third and ten. Setting up blockers or running backs got it on the screen. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. Nice job of picking up the Mike linebacker blitz and hitting his man for the first down. Defense and their short yardage packing. Scrambling around. And he's tackled right around the eight yard line. Come on, team. on that reception. That brings up fourth and goal. Fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. The kick is up, and it's good. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Let's get you up to date on what's happening in some games with major BCS implications. Oh, wow. The Mississippi State, they have a chance to win eight games if they can take care of business today. Mississippi State in front, 13-7. Three touchdown ball game here, Reese, 31-10. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. He's to the 10. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 24. The defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. Nice run there as they work the outside. Make it 100 yards rushing for him. I'm so impressed with the way he runs, and I've got to say, he might be my favorite at this point for the Heisman Trophy. We've got a second and five. Ball in the 29. And he's hit immediately. So the pass is complete for an eight-yard gain and a first down. Great look from the quarterback to find his receiver and make the quick throw for the new set of downs. Nice job. He's got it out to his tight end. Brought down around the 36-yard line. He sort of rainbowed that one into the air, which can be risky. You're giving the defender or multiple defenders time to get there. But that time, it worked out nicely. From the 36-yard line, it's first down. Passes, and it's almost picked off. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. Makes it second and ten. He's hit and taken down. You know, having a playmaker at tight end makes those linebackers think twice before they make a move. That could be just enough time for the quarterback. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 25. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. That makes it second and six. Double 
So at the end of three, the Eagles lead 31-10. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. He's in trouble. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. And this play is number eight on the drive. Let's go, Kaufman! All right, we're at 167 yards. We're getting close. He's got another one. They get in. Touchdown. Wow, it's tied between UCS and Stanford. Damn. from around the country. Several surprises today. Early in the fourth quarter. Our game, 38 to 10. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Eagles' defense came to play, and man, they have played beautifully. How many do they have dressed out there? 12 or 13 <laughs> defenders? I mean, they're flying all over the field. All right, here we go. Come on, team. They just can't move the ball. They have no chance. We got this. Early in the fourth quarter, and this one we know is over. It's an opportunity for some subs to play on one side and maybe to play for pride on the other. And a quick throw. They'll bring him down around the 43-yard line. That's a gain of 18 on the play. That makes it first and 10. He's wow! To the corner. He's at the 40. Down the sideline. And now he's got room to run. He's all the way. Touchdown. Had a feeling they were going to go for the onside kick. A quick two play, 75 yard drive. Nice job, Edwards. Hold on to the ball. There you go. And they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. And he's hammered down. That'll be enough to put this one away. Yeah, but give them credit. They played hard today. They just didn't catch the lucky breaks they needed. Both teams are well aware that a score... Wow, the offensive line did not help me there. Lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And he's going to come up with a sack. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. Brown gets a ball left side. He's at the 30 to the 20, the 10, and he's tackled at the five. Nice shot, Coffin with a touchdown. Finds his receiver, touchdown. the PAT. A short three play, 43 yard drive and that's good for a touchdown. Miller, ready to kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance. Here we go. Come on team, let's do this. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. 
So their last drive resulted in six points. Do you think we'll see the same Good diving catch. They ran the ball extremely well on their last drive. And until this defense figures out how to stop it, I think they'll have no problem moving the ball down the field. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. Nice job. Nice job. He's on the run, and they got him. What well, really good call here by the defensive coordinator. Perfect time to dial up the blitz. The blitz didn't get home, but it did free up a defensive lineman to get to the quarterback to come up with that sack. Second and 15. Ball on the 32. He's going to try and scramble. He's to the 40. And he's taken down at the 46-yard line. Good game there on the quarterback scramble. You know, I really like the decision to tuck it and run here. He waited and found no one open, so instead of throwing it away, he just took it upfield for himself. And he's tackled after positive yardage. He'll pick up a first down with that run from the halfback. This young man ran with some purpose there and picked up six yards. Now he's scrambling, heading for the corner. The ball is loose, and no one can get it. It bounces out of bounds. the 32 yard line first down just under three to go in regulation Sharp will run it again he gets out to about the 17 yard line that's good for a gain of 15 yards that makes it first and 10 they come out on an empty backfield Quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Sharp was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. All right, come on. From the 17 yard line, it's second down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Throws it in a hurry. And down he goes at the 10 yard line. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up third and two. Get out, get out, get out. They'll spread the field with five wide. Easy, 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 easy. Slings it. Touchdown, Huskies. You've got to give each of these guys credit for getting in sync, really fighting to create that touchdown. Whoa. And he converts the wow. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Let's head to the farm in Palo Alto. Let's take yet another peek at this game. We've got a tight one going on here. USC has the edge. 34-31. All right. Thanks, Reese. I accidentally pressed the wrong button. The Eagles taking their first time out of the half. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Just over two minutes in the game. Caught open field, and they make the stop at about the 39-yard line. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. hit immediately. Third down. 
Nice job, Brent. Nice job. He's tackled around the 34 yard line. First down, 10 to go. Oh, clothesline him. Four yard line. The pass results in a first down. I'll tell you. Great call by the coaches on first down. It stretches the defense when they're expecting the run, and then they end up with another first down. The Eagles are going to call their second timeout. First and ten, ball on the 23-yard line. This is going to be a first down. The Eagles using their third and last timeout. What a play. Boy, solid job there by the quarterback recognizing the defensive coverage. And nice job. The open receiver. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. Well, there's a touchdown that we really don't care about. This game is still well out of reach. Oh, Stanford takes the win. Damn. now for studio update. Time to take you out to the battle in the Pac-12. And for USC, they've now dropped three in a row. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. Give me a second. Goes into the end zone, down for a Let me back. double check something. Did the stream get muted? Uh, nope, doesn't look like it. Hold on, let me see if I can fix the capture card. Alright, let's see. Did that work? Stand by. Can you hear it again? Hmm. Late in the fourth quarter, this game's not even close. It's a blowout. A lot of folks have already gone home, and Herbie, I think we're going to make our dinner. Uh, we have less than a minute to go. Tackle made at about the 37 yard line. The Huskies will use their first time out of the half. Oh, hold on. Then it might be on the game settings. All right, give me a second. Let me see what we got for the volume control. That's weird. Hmm. Well, I'll drop this to 90 at least and see if that helps. See if maybe turning down their volume might help. First and ten. Ball on the 37. I guess it is a little bit quiet for some reason. I guess that's just the game. Because I set everything to max volume, so... That is so weird. Hmm. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 37. Caught with room to work. At the 30. 
And he's tackled at the 21. Washington's going to have to use their second time out of the half. First down. Under a minute left. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. Yeah, that is the game. From the 23-yard line, it's second down. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. No, 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 no worries, no worries. It's just that, yeah, sometimes the video game volume is not necessarily what you call uh, good. Sometimes it just depends. a blowout and has been for most of the game. I think it's time for everybody to go home. It's fourth down and they're going to try oh, to go Lord. for it. There it is. Turnover. Wow, you just got to love it for this defense. They come up with the stop of the ball game and maybe the season. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. They just seem like they've been in the end zone time and time again. There's not much negative you can say about this performance. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. to thread the needle and it's not going to work. Yeah, a mistake like this by a quarterback, even with a big lead, is not going to make the head coach happy. When he walks over the sideline, he's going to feel the wrath of his head coach and offensive coordinator for throwing that ball into cover. We were trying to get up to around 250 passing yards, but sadly we couldn't do it. But we did get everything else on the list of stuff we need to do, so that actually is good to some degree. We beat a rival school. We already beat. We did pretty much everything exactly as we were supposed to. The only thing we didn't do is reach around 250 passing yards, which is sad. But, hey, what can you do? We tried our best. That's the best we could do under, under the uh, circumstances. Oh, hang on. Mikey. Almost dropped my controller. Alright. Hopefully those recruiting points at least helped somewhat. We'll be heading off against Oregon. But yeah, no worries, Sparks8421. Uh, it's alright. Sometimes the audio of this game can be a little off, especially since, uh... Especially since, uh, this game is pretty old in comparison. Well, I'll give you a follow there, buddy. Um... Alright, so right now... I'm just hoping that we may have had enough points to keep Hero in the lead. As well as everything else. We just really need that stuff right now, especially for how it is. So I'm praying we at least got some of those recruits during that whole run, please. Yes! 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 
Hiro Sakai has just committed to our team. We now have a 99 overall wide receiver. That is amazing. Let's go. Justin Cole has also committed, so we have a right guard. We have a left end in Wil William Culp, who has just committed to our team. And Billy Gil Gilroy has also been recruited to our team as the next QB for the list, which is awesome. We really needed that, especially for that. Brian Jones has also committed to our team, which is awesome. Holy hell. We just got several amazing players. We got a five-star, four-star, signed a top ten prospect. What an amazing... Signed a three-star prospect. God bless it. We just... Wow. And we even got ranked into the top 25, which is absolutely outstanding. We'll be facing down against Oregon very soon, so hopefully we have a chance to really do something here. But first, let's go over to recruiting and see what we can do here. We just got several amazing players. I don't think we're going to get any... Uh, I don't think we're going to get any luckier with that. So anybody that is locked out, we're going to remove. Not worth having them on the list. Joe Stanley, as much as I really want to have you, you are already locked out, so there's no point. I'm gonna get rid of Kevin Archer, he's already chosen. Mike Robinson, already chosen. Uh, Andy Green, already chosen. And these are all the players we currently have committed to our team. There is no denying we won them. Alright, so, with that in mind, I am going to do this. We're going to go for needs. So, yeah, we have a new quarterback that will be joining us around overall 75. We could definitely use a better one. Um, Alright, so we're going to back out here. We're going to actually look for some players in the in another position. So, we're going to back out here. We're going to do some searches. Let's look for a top school. Zero matches. Top five? We found five. We found five students. All right, here we go. So... Oh, they've... Shit. All right, we'll target... Uh, no, we're gonna... Yeah, remove... Prospect. Hmm. And you know what? Yeah, we're going to remove them. At this point, we're just going to hope for Clark and Williams. Let's go for QB. Seven matches found. Good. If we could get one more QB to replace our juniors when the next season rolls around, that'd be nice. Alright, we're going to put uh, Chad Landrum potentially in the list. And... Yeah, I think that's it. Just him. Um, next, of course, is... We're going to look up uh, team needs again and see what we're missing on defense. Defensive ends and offensive linebackers. So we're going to look up uh, those right now. Alright, so here we go. We're going to search. Offensive linebackers and let's go top three. Fourteen matches found. Awesome. C 
God, there are so many low le overalls. Are you serious? Well... Screw it, we'll go for Brian. And we'll go for Jeremy Hunter. And now, of course, we have to look for defensive tackles. Let's see if we can find any. One match has been found, and it's someone we already have. Are you serious? All right, let's go with top five schools. Can we get more? We got six. Good. Top. All right, let's see. Uh, well, he's already, I think he's already committed to Texas, so that really sucks. Uh, you know what? We'll take a chance with Travis Thomas and see what we get with him. And let's look at team needs one more time. We're also looking for ATH, which is basically all-around players. Um, let's look. ATH, top five schools, not committed. Anybody we can get among those players would be nice. Okay, so it looks like Stanley's already been chosen by South Carolina. Uh, sorry, uh, Southern California. We do have, of course, uh, Goolsby, of course. We're going to try to maybe get him. And you know what? We'll put Hall and Jackson in there. Finally, we are going to do one last one, and that is, of course... Halfback. Top five, not committed. Twelve. Let's see what we got here. 59, 67, 60. Uh, oh my god, a lot of these are trash. Okay, I see only two with potentials. Clint Whitaker and Matt Garrett. I think they're our best options for looking for anybody with a potential for halfback. And for wide receiver... We already got heroes, so we're good. But I say getting another one would be nice, so... Oh, wait, we already have, like, two people we're currently doing well in. So, you know what? Since this guy is also on the list, we're going to put him there as well as Bradford, and I think we're done. Because of that, I don't think we need to worry about any uh, potential points with him, so we're going to hurry up and do this. Offensive linebackers, let's see. We are going to scout him and find out what we got. That's good. That is, oops, that is actually very good. Another good. And another good. Wow, all right, all right. This is actually good. Oh, wait. No, there's no way in hell we're getting this guy. Sadly. Potentially him, yes. And with the points we've given, a chance to steal Kyle Bryant. For the potential that he has, I actually am willing to give him that. Alright, so, now that we did that, now we have to look at defensive tackles. Uh, Travis Thomas, like I said, it, we is... Oh yeah, there's no way in hell we're getting him. Um, defensive end, we're already good there. The linebacker, good there. Free safety, no, not even, we're not getting him. Definitely I'm happy we're getting him. Already got him. We're only 765 points up behind Utah. And let's see just how good this guy is, at least. Okay, not bad. He's definitely a 67, which is close to Ron Goolsby. We'll give him 500 points, and we're going to actually try to go for a scholarship with this kid and 
hope that we can somehow get him to join up. So we got that. All right, now that we're done there, it is time for our next match. We are gonna do something though. We are gonna at least get um, students to visit the school. So we got four ready to visit. Here we go. All right, so. We'll go with California. Um, and we won't have to worry about these guys. We'll just have them as by week. Because honestly, we don't really need to worry about that. We'll just have them in the bye week. No real point. As for Derek Wade, we'll have him also in California. Alright, so we already have all that stuff settled. Everyone has been scheduled for the upcoming matches. Uh, right now, we are just praying that we can get something here. But yeah, as you guys can see, we got around a total of 1,050 points from Eric Williams' visit, along with, of course, Ray Edwards having around uh, 550. We uh, got 850 for total visit with him, along with several others with 950, 600. So it's already looking good for us in our situation right here, so... Right now, it's pretty much set, and not to mention with Bear Lawrence already done, he's already committed to us, so there's actually really no need for him to even visit the school, but he'll still visit anyway. But yeah, this has been a great recruiting match. Now we can say the Hero Sakai has now joined our team, and yes, if you're wondering, he is basically our soccer player from the Captain Tsubasa series. Um, oh, right. Um, I wanted to let you guys know before we get started on our next game is that for our Backyard Baseball series, we are going to be switching up the team from what I showed you last time. So we are still going to be doing the Melon Heads, same color scheme and everything. However, um, for the Backyard Baseball 2003, we're switching up my character, and we're going to put in Hiro Sakai, so we can show that he can play baseball as well. Um, but other than that, though, uh, let us get started with a matchup. But yeah, this has been a great week. We're about to face the number eight best team in the nation. Holy shit. Seriously. I didn't think we'd ever get to at least uh, 22, but now we're about to face down against the legend, the legends that are Oregon again. We had an overtime game happen last time, so yeah. Alright, so right now we are close to the 2,000 yards in this season. Uh... Rush yards uh, for school record is 1897. We're still a lot, around less than 200 to go. Um, school record for TDs is 12. We're still working on that. Same with five consecutive wins. Uh, we're hoping that this game will be the one to help get us to that one as well. Um, other than that, though, we have just been absolutely fantastic on this. We are so close to leveling up as well. We just need another 390 points before we can actually get to the level up. So that is going to be absolutely good for all of us here. Oops. No, we are not exiting Dynasty. We're going to play a game. So here we go. The matchup against Oregon is upon us. This is it. One of the top te top 10 teams in the nation. If I think if we win here, we take their spot and they get lowered on the list because of their loss against us. So this will definitely be helpful in our chances of making it higher than we originally had. So it's going to be very good. 
I'm actually very... I'm actually a little bit scared, if you want me to be honest. Because... <coughs> this There's a reason why that they are undefeated in the Pac-12. We really need to win against them if we want to have a chance at... Uh, have any chance of winning this, so... All right, looks like we could do well in the passing and rushing. So it looks like we are definitely going to have better offense than their team. Though our rushing defense will ensure that we can hold them there, passing defense is going to be a struggle. So we're going to have to really start working hard if we want to make this work. And it's pretty much even in terms of defense points given. So other than that, though, we just got to win. Last time it was a snowy day, well, now we get sun. Studio, I'm Reese Davis, That's what I was hoping EA for. Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This showdown between these two teams has been looming for quite some time. Both know the conference championship is at stake, and for the loser, that team is likely to take a major hit in its postseason bowl plan. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. stadium is one of the loudest in the country and it'll be rocking today let's head down to the coin toss now it's brought to you by you go heads please damn it all right they're gonna get the ball first i mean in the second half so that sucks i was kind of hoping we'd take it but now that just ruined our chances of potentially winning this game well we're gonna try our best anyway regardless both teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. He's to the 20. Oh, man, he took him down hard. Seniors are throwing on the home jerseys for the final time in their career. And for these kids, an awfully emotional time. You always want to go out in style and get a win. The quarterback brings his troops out out of the field for the first drive of the game. Side. He's to the 40. Brought down at the 43 yard line. The Eagles always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43. And they'll run him again. Tackle at the 49. And you know, Kirk, we get a chance to see one of the great players from last year. And if he has the kind of season he had a year ago, I mean, we could be talking about national awards. He's at the 40. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. Herbie, we had a chance to see this kid a year ago, and he was sensational. If he's anything like he was last year, look out this season. From the 30-yard line. First nice time. job, Edwards. Nice job. Gets past the tackler. And he is drilled at the 21. Close to nine-yard pickup there on the slant. That makes it second and two. tackled right around the 22 yard line if this offense keeps running at this guy they're gonna have to rethink some of their play calling it's third 
down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Two thousand yards. Inside the ten. This trip, this kid's earned it. Well done. What is going on with this defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs, and they're executing well. But the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. It's first and goal. Nice job, Ryan Seto. So he was able to connect with a tight end for the score. Yeah, they did a nice job inside the red zone of mixing up the play calling. That touchdown obviously fooled the defense. <laughs> Damn! He converts the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. The Bulldogs came into the game ranked fifth. After that performance, they'll drop like a stone. It is all over. And once again, we find out there are no foregone conclusions in college football. Elsewhere, the Sooners came into the game ranked 10th. After the hard-fought loss, will the pollsters keep them high in the rankings? And for Oklahoma, Damn. they've lost two in a row. And for Noble... He had a touchdown reception in this game. The Bears pull it off by two. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Walker Miller looks ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Not too bad, not too bad. Cover one, let's go guys, come on. Throws complete and he's hit right away. Number 15 makes the tackle at the 15-yard line. Let's go back, let's go back. bring up second and three. Nice job, Gallard! Nice job, nice job, nice job. Gallard saw that coming and immediately reacted. Well done. Remember, we just got to hold him here. If I remember correctly, we kind of injured him last time, so... And he's taken down at about the 49. How about that conversion on third down? Good push here by the guys up front, and they are really starting to work hard in the trenches. Gets it out to the wide alley. He's got the first, and down he goes around the 36-yard line. Tech for a loss, bitch. Show no mercy. He's taken down right around the 38 yard line. That was a loss of two yards. That'll bring up second and 12. From the 38 yard line, second down. Made at the 24. Impressive game there by the do it all back. Nice job, nice job. Quick strike and he drops it. That makes it second and ten. Come on, team, we just gotta hold them. If we could get him to a field goal, that'd be nice. And this be is even better if we could turn it over. God, that kid's small compared to everybody else. 
Nice run up the middle. But I bet for him it's much easier to maneuver through the damn field if he's that small. That'll bring up 36. There we go. Give him a loss. All right, so they may go for a field goal right here unless they decide to go for it. They go to the ground and each yep, they're going for it. So we're going to definitely need to be ready. So... All right, here we go. Don't know why they're going for it. They could have just gotten the short points, but whatever. So it's fourth down, If they make the it, then they're good for them, the but field. still... Okay, so they only got the first down, not the touchdown yet. Quick out to his receiver. And they make the stop at the eight. That's such a huge letdown for this defense. That kind of conversion is just inexcusable. the PAT an 11 play 74 yard drive and the result seven points Brad I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense Perry is lined up to kick this one off he'll return it from the four yard line and he's tackled at the 25 yard line They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Oh, let's go. Come on, Brown. Yes. Let's go. He's to the 40. Across midfield. Mario Brown. The legend. To the 10. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. Once he got into the open field, there was no looking for Let's what go, a Mario a Brown. Certainly knew what they were this dude is a legend in American Eastern team. Washington University. There's a reason why that he literally is in our, our school's cover athlete. Really? How did you miss that? The upright. No good. I didn't even aim in that direction. I don't know what happened with him. Miller doesn't have that happen often. Maybe in rain and snow, yeah, but not in the middle of a fresh day like this. Like, what the hell? He really got a hold of that kick. Hell, that could have actually cost us the game if we're not careful. The end zone for a touchback. the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown i love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receiver these guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense and right now it's really paying off second down 10 to go ball on their own 25. nice job Tack for a damn loss. Let's go. Fires that quickly to the tailback. And they hit him in the backfield. All right. We have the lead so far. We've played one quarter. The Eagles in front, 13 7. Ooh, yeah, a little bit of an inch there. All right. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Nice job of the loss. Zips it to the back. He's tackled. At the that is actually what we needed. Let's freaking go. It might need to be reassessed by this coaching staff. Well. 
Hill awaiting the return. He tried. Hill fields it at the 34. He gets hit out of bounds at the 45 yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Gets to about the 44-yard line. That makes it second and eight. From the 44-yard line. Nice first down there, Edwards. Nice job. Slings it down right around the 34. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. He's into the open field. Gains his way to the 23 yard line. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 23. Nice run there. Brown gains about five yards on the run. That makes it second and six. run there as they work the outside. Call it a gain of six yards. First down. From the 12-yard line. It's yes! Nice job, Ron Williams. And he's got the touchdown. Williams has had high expectations since he was a high schooler, and now it looks like he's every bit as good as suggested. Congratulations to him on his. We need to make up for the two point difference right now. They'll go for two. There we go, Edwards! Yes! Alright, so now we don't have to worry about any sort of issues if they try to catch up, so we're good. Looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Yep. Nice kick, plenty of distance. I remember the first time we played against these guys, it went into overtime. Into the these guys can come back from touchback. anything. We just got to try extra hard to not let these guys get a good pass or just hold them to any sort of position. It's the best we can do under short notice with these guys. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. There we go with a sack! David Gallard, let's go! And they get the sack. Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out at practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too Nope, bad. you're going down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Game of four on the play. That'll make it third and 13. Let's go, hurry up, on the ball, on the ball. Check, check, check out. Disco Raver! Disco Raver! Yeah, yeah. 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 Yep. They couldn't pick up the first down, so they'll have to punt this one away. The offense really had nowhere to All go. All right, that, that is exactly what we're hoping for. Well Let's defended. go. Now the incompletion will force the fourth down in a punt. Perry is the punter. He 
gets out to about the 45-yard line. The Eagles had so much success here in the first half. Kirk, you got to look really in the third and fourth quarter if they get just maybe a little bit too complacent, start playing not to lose instead of to win. Yeah, they got to keep their foot on the accelerator. They're off to such a great start. I mean, it, it's exactly the way they had hoped this game would unfold, and it is. But it's a four-quarter game. And he's not and wrong, so we got to really start playing. We got to make sure that we play as good as we can under the circumstances. As long as we try to do our best here, we should win, hopefully. First down, 10 yards to go. Nice job, Seto. Nice Burton. job with getting the reception, at least. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. God bless it. Wow. Here's a run. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. He's under some heat. They're going to come up short here. Now that he's not wrong, I'm definitely pick up taking this first down, but at least they're in field goal range, and a smart coach will always take Shit, I have those... an opportunity. He missed it. Oh, God bless it, man. I even aimed in the other direction. Why did it go in that direction? God bless it. His aim is shit sometimes. And even that's when me, I'm actually aiming the stick in that direction, yet it's not going there. Oh, thank God that was incomplete. Thank you. Nice job, team. Nice job. Throwing right. Incomplete pass. Here's a case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. From their own 30-yard line. Second down. Nice job. Whoa. All right, there's still a chance for us to really take this one home, so please keep up the defense, guys. Try to intercept it, but try to deflect the pass if you can. There you go. Nice job. Nice job. Now, here's the thing. Are they going to go for it, or are they going to punt it? Yep, they're going to punt it. Okay. That gives us a little bit of hope to try to get something in this uh, quarter. That offense has to regroup and come up with a plan to move the ball down the Oh, hell no, you're not going to run the clock down, you bitch. We're doing this our way. So you better kick the damn ball. Why he has, but let's also give some credit to the offensive line. Doing a tremendous job of pushing the defensive line back to give the running back some room to work with. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Tackle around the 47-yard line. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 47. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it. Oh, he almost had it. Wants to go long and does. Doesn't get there. God bless it, man. This game, I swear, is going to stress me out. 21-7, Eagles. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. He's David, David Pollock here in the studio as always. 
to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game, and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses, first and foremost, did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it uh, every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half, and you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of, and, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes, because coaches will tell you, it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it at harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. I even aim strain that's still going at an angle. Why? Right, Reese David, thanks guys. Just about set to Hopefully start our newest quarter. kicker isn't that much of a pain. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Eagles continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this. Man, that hair was bo bothering here. me in my nose. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. God, that looks like a wasting drive that they want to get back in the game. I kind of feel bad for him because he's literally out. He's, he's literally right smaller than every other player on the team. On his team and ours. Which is insane to say the least. Throws in a hurry. Incomplete. He tried to hit his receiver in stride, but overthrew it a little too much. That'll come in time. Just repetition, throwing that same pass over and over, and he'll be fine. Second and ten. Ball on their own 37. And he's tackled around the 45-yard line. Call it a gain of eight yards. That'll bring up 32. out of bounds around the 24 yard line. It's third down and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. They'll bring him down at the 16. And he 
tackles him hard at the 13-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Roger, Roger. And the goal line defense digging in here. And they make the stop at the 10. On the tackle. That's a gain of three on the play. That makes it third and three. And down he goes at about the 15 yard line. All right. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Barely. He gets it up. <laughs> the upright and through. He got it. Yeah, if it was the fourth quarter, I'd use the onside kick. You little shits. Oregon ready to kick this one off. Hill takes it at the four. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 35. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. <laughs> God, Mario Brown is Tackle just a. on a damn roll. And right now, we could really, we really need him to keep up with the ru running yards, rushing yards, because he's literally the key to this whole damn offense right now. Got a lane. He's at the 40. Knocked out of bounds at the 31. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 31. Right now, we just got to keep this up. First and goal. Makes it first and goal. Thank God, let's go. He's in for the touchdown. Uh, camera? <laughs> Don't know why you're so focused on the ball there. All right. There we go. That's what I was hoping for. Okay, um, I'm going to pause right here. I'll be right back.
I'm back, everyone. Let's go. We got this. Had to run all over the house just trying to get some stuff. Here we go. It can really demoralize a defense. Right now, we have a significant lead against Oregon. 28-10. Let's just hope we can make it through this. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Wow! Mark Davis just darted like hell. He was like, oh, hell no, I'm not letting you guys catch me. He was in such a panic when he was running. Good Lord. Because he had like, like, what, five, six people after him? Oh shit, no, he had seven people on him. Holy hell. <laughs> wow. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Well, I guess they're not going to sneak anything by the return team. They're looking for an onside kick. And he'll return this one from the seven. And he makes it out to about the 20. Right, here we go. Line. Nice first down. Nice job, Mario. Ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Brown takes it left. He gets hit out of bounds around the 32-yard line. Good, solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. First and ten. Ball on the 32. Nice show, Kaufman! Setting up play action with a quick throw. Keeps his eye on it, makes the catch. He's taken down at the 40 yard line. First down. So with one quarter remaining, the Eagles lead 28-17. All right, we're just about oh god, that was close. Here again in the fourth quarter. Quick roll, almost intercepted. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. From the 40-yard line, it's second down. Hand off, and he's met in the backfield. God bless it. Wow, they held us. a nice play anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus Holman to punt this one will go into the end zone and they'll bring it out to the 20 the Eagles defense came to play in May. Come on, team, let's do this. Beautiful. How many do they have dressed out there? 12 or 13 <laughs> defenders? I mean, they're flying all over the field, and this poor offense just can't move the ball. They have no chance. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Catch it 
catches it. He's out to the 30. He steps out at the 35-yard line. Interesting call here by the offensive coordinator to go with the screen pass. He picks up the first down and gets the defense. Again, another thing to think about to slow them down maybe later in the game with their pass run. And he shoved out of bounds at the 34. He never had a chance to get going downhill. The pursuit was all over that run. Oh, whoops, he tripped on him. <laughs> he tripped on Corey Morris on accident. He was like, he was trying to stop and then boom. He's like, oh shit. They go right to the ground. Ouch. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Call it a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up third and four. Almost. Now the question is, are they going to go for it? Nope, they're not. Awaits the snap. Hill fields it at the 18. Brought down to 37 yard line. Return for a gain of 19 yards. Where was my offensive line right there? Both teams are well aware that a score on this Come on. Can create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. They'll bring him down at about the 35. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on their own 35. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That'll bring up 38. Nice job, Edwards. Nice job. Give us the first down. Just under three to go in regulation. Tackle made at midfield. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. Let's go, Rhodes! We've got a first and ten. Hell yeah! Out of bounds at about the 39 yard line. First down. Gary, really? Two times, two times. Four down, four down. Hey, watch that, watch that. Get ready. Quick pass, tight end, and he wasn't ready for it. Number 85 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 39. Nice run there. The Ducks will use their first time out of the half. Why is it turning like that? So it's fourth down. Unfreaking real. This dude has been failing in the kicks today. Why? He gets it up. And he didn't get all of it. It falls short. Oh, interception! Woo! Hell yeah! Just under oh, hell yes! 
What an amazing grab before it hit the ground. Let's go. Big time interception and this game's over. Holy hell, we needed that. Nice job, Mario Brown. Nice job. First down. He gets to about the 31-yard line. Oregon will take their final timeout. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick Nice up job, Brent. Nice board. job. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Call it a gain of five too yards. Easy, too easy. That makes it first and ten. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 26. And he's tackled right around the 28-yard line. So not only did they risk an interception, but now they've given them more time. I just don't get it. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. He's tackled at about the 17-yard line. Well, they get all those yards, but come up just shy of the first. Good play call, almost perfect execution, except for the fact that they're not yes! going to get the first down. Let's go! Defense stacked in tight here. And they make the stop at the 15. Game of two on the play. First down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 15 yard line. Nice run to the outside. Brown gets about four yards on the play. That'll make it second and seven. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Brought down around the 10 yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. Boy, the senior linebacker's experience really showed on that. There we go. He it out Give him at least one field goal that at least makes it. Thank goodness. We're finally done. Kicks away. And there it is. We just beat the eighth best team in the nation. The Horned Frogs were ranked 21st. Now they hope just to hold on to a spot in the poll. There's been an upset. The Eagles know that they have to enjoy this guy while right, they've go got him because somewhere down the line he's going to be at the next. What game. an well, amazing game! His future, but for now he needs to sit back and just enjoy this performance and and really the play caller, the quarterback. That game was possibly one of the most important games of the regular season. Just absolutely killing it. Lee Ward has proven himself worthy of his position as lead quarterback for this team and honestly I'm very proud of them but yeah we got force a turnover we scored a touchdown five consecutive wins rush for over 100 yards and then of course we got the three the uh, rush for 2,000 yards in a season it is absolutely amazing and currently right now Mario Brown I think is almost at 2,000 himself personally so we may eventually see him potentially break the record for this season. He has been absolutely on the best of rolls up until this point. What an amazing what an amazing player, no joke. Yep, and we just got to level 30 for head coach. That is awesome. We really needed to level up. 
Because now we can really start putting it into uh, the last one there. Where it's, yeah, basically we're going to put it into Road Warrior. Basically quarterback shine on the road and go, don't get rattled by home field advantage. And we're just going to put Max Dial to level 3. Our next skill we're going to try to go for is, uh... Is that we're going to try to get um, this one for, uh... I think next time we'll have to do uh, setup artist or matchup. I believe. I think matchup will be our best bet, though. <coughs> but yes, we are now officially at level thirty for our head coach, and now we advance the week. Let's see what we got right now. We just beat the 8th best team in the nation. I wonder what rank we're going to be at when we uh, eventually. Because if we could get among the top 10, that would be awesome. If we could get up to top 5, that would be even better. And considering that several teams have already lost and a lot of them were among the top 10, I have a feeling we might end up making it to the uh, top spot. Top 5 positions. If we could get top 3, that would be the best thing ever. It would be the best thing ever if we made top three. But that also means we have to keep our streak going. But, however, on the plus side, we just took the top spot from Oregon. Meaning that we now have a potential for a bowl game if we're lucky. There's Oregon State scheduling visits. The left, of, left offensive linebacker has now committed to our team. And, of course, Ryan Goolsby has committed to Utah. Look at all this experience points. Look at that. We got a sign a three-star prospect, which is great. We have been ranked among the top 25, which is good. Um, we had possibly... One of the best performances we've ever had at this point would be a top 10 team. It is insane. Now let's take a look at and see what our number is. All right, so sadly we're still at number 14, so it looks like a lot of the top uh, player, top teams did make it, so that sucks a little bit. But yeah, I'm now curious, uh, who are we in the running for right now for top 25? Top 25 polls. Here we go. All right, so last week's rank, we were 22. Now we're 14. So we jumped eight ranks. That is nuts. But yeah, it looks like the number one team is currently Texas A&M. Ohio State is number two. And Louisville is third. Alright, so, right now, under the current circumstances, Eastern Washington Eagles are currently at the number 14 spot, which, personally, is good. Now, I wish that the overall offense and defense rose up, because at this point, they're not really showing what we are capable of. Still... Absolutely amazing. We are just having the best freaking time in this run. Fantastic plays for all of our all of our players here. All 
Okay, now I'm curious. Toughest play places to play. Ohio State, okay. Uh, where are we at? That's the question. We're number 17. That is awesome. <laughs> All right, so it looks like we're number 17 in the nation for toughest places to play. Let's go. I'm actually kind of impressed. Well done for our Eagles. They are really making sure. All right, we got award finalists. Oh my god! Mario Brown is in third place. He is at 1,889 yards. He is so close to officially getting the record for the most... Uh, oh my lord. I still can't believe it. This is nuts. Yeah, look at this. Rushing attempts 202 last season with eight... He is, oh, he is so close to being his record of 1,897 yards. And he's doing it in less carries, no less. And right now... He's improved in so many areas, from rushing TDs to longest rushing yards. Uh, yards after first hit is the only one that isn't improved so far. Broken tackles, a little bit less, only one less than the other. But again, we're still in the near. We're still have a few more games left, so that could easily change. Um, but yeah, one amazing performance. I personally, if you want me to be honest, I hope he wins Heisman because holy shit, he has been absolutely showing why he's the greatest of all time but yeah that's for the maxwell uh walter camp he's in second bendarek nope he's nowhere near ryan let's look for the one that matters most oh wait there is no wait what Oh, look at that! Gallard is actually making it! He's in top seven. Not bad, not bad. Remington, uh, Outland, Mackey. Wow. Ah, there it is. Edwards, top four. Sorry, top five already with the Billin Bilitnikov Award. The. Wow! The freaking Walker Awards already in Mario Brown's possession right now. Holy hell, this dude is amazing. O'Brien is still in... He's nowhere to be seen on the list. Damn, that is a little sad. He's not even considered... None of them are considered the top 12, which sucks. Nagurski... Uh, oh, sorry. Nagurski is... Uh, no one's on the list. Damn. I'm guessing these are all... Oh, wait. These are defensive players. Never mind. Uh, sadly, we don't have anybody on defense for uh, the Bed Bednarik. Walter Camp, of course. Mario Brown is in second place. And Maxwell, he is in third. So Mario Brown is bound to at least get a freaking uh, multiple trophies if he keeps this up. Wait, What? Oh no, Mario Brown was at the top of the leaderboard and now he just got moved down to second place. Oh my god. Personally, I would love for Mario Brown to earn the Heisman Trophy, so we really gotta show these guys why we're the why why he's better. Conference standings, not bad. Alright, so right now let's take a look at the conference standings right now, because we are I think we're doing pretty good so far. Yeah, we are in the top of the leaderboard right now against Oregon, who now has two losses under their belt, while we have only one loss, which could change at any moment if we're not careful. Pac South, uh, things are going pretty well for Arizona, so yeah, blah, 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 but hey, at least we, we managed to make it on the, the top of the leaderboard for that. Championship contenders. That is going to be the major thing here. 
So we are still below the list, sadly. But it looks like we are a B plus, so as long as we can keep this going, we should be fine. So yeah, right now our current rank is currently at 14. Our projected rank in 2015 is going to be 80. Uh, projected rank 28 and, uh, and 14. So it may end up being better than before, we just don't know. But yeah, with the awards absolutely just killing it this time, like good lord. Let's take a look at how things went for NCAA uh, Player of the Week. So far, nothing, which sucks, because we could... How are none of our players in the freaking... Wow! Really? None of them? What about at least Pac-12? Can we at least say we have Pac-12? Yeah, there's Mario Brown. There he is. Junior David, ah, David Gallard, nice. There's Mario Brown again. I still don't know how the hell that Mario Brown is at least among the players of the week. That's bullshit. Bullshit pro bull, uh, projections. Where are we? There we are. So it looks like we are going to be going in the Rose Bowl. Potentially against Georgia. Oh, God! I'm actually not looking forward to that match. I am actually scared out of my wits. But if we somehow beat Georgia, that will be possibly the greatest thing we've ever done so far. Beat someone among the top five. Again. But, holy shit. That's going to be possibly one of the toughest matches we've ever had to deal with. So, Alright. No more uh, wasting time. Let's hurry up and get some of the recruiting done while we can. Alright, let's put some points into Preston Jackson. Get him there. Okay, so Matt Garrett, we know we're not going to get. He's pretty much way beyond our reach right now. Why the hell they're actually going for him? Oh, we're not even close. Fuck. Actually, no, we're not even gonna try. We're gonna try to put points here.
There we go. Alright, so we did what we could with the points we have. And like I said, we're going to extend the stream. We're going to try to at least try to finish the entire thing if we can. So here we go. We're going against Oregon State. We've had such amazing players so far. I'm really hoping to try at least get uh, um, Mario Brown up to the 2,000 yard mark for his record. He deserves to have his record broken as well as uh, his... Uh, as just well overall being basically the one player that has been carrying this team for two seasons. But luckily enough with Hiro Sakai, I think that might have lightened his load a bit. So he won't have to work as hard. But I say just for the hell of it, we're going to at least give him one last season where he's going to enjoy himself as the star. If we can. We are second in offensive points. Uh, 11th in yards for, pa for yards total. We're 56 in passing yards, so it looks like we're still going to need to work on that. We're 5th in rushing yards. Um... 15th in defense uh, point, in defending against points, uh, oh, sorry, points against. 5th um, in defensive uh, yards, which is pretty good actually, total yards. 1st in rushing yards, and 54th in passing yards. So, it looks like all around, we're going to definitely have to really work hard to try to get something out of this. Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Eagles are really hitting their stride. Look, I know they have a winning streak going, but more importantly, they're starting to play at a very high level. The expectations are going to rise. They'll try to make sure their performance does the same. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football Pregame Show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. Alright, so they get the ball in the second half. We only get in the first. That sucks a little bit, but we're going to try our best anyway. Newman has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep to open up the ball game. Here we go, folks. Caught at the eight. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. The Eagles and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. Oh, Our freaking damn. Okay, that, that was surprising. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Black Hands off to the right and is brought down in the backfield. The Eagles have a lot at stake here, including some possible record-breaking performances, records and stats. Oh, he's gone. But I think to a man, these players say, let's win the game first, and then any accolades we get along yeah! will be great. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Brown off the left side. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 30-yard line. Herbie, we had a chance to see this kid a year ago, and he was sensational. If he's anything like he was last year, look out this season. Yes! He's 
Cowboys at the 20. Inside the 10. Touchdown. Big play. Fred, remember the year that this guy had last year? Looking at him yesterday in practice, he looks bigger, he looks stronger, he looks faster. Look out this year. He's going to have a better year this year than he even had last year. And he hits the PAT. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. As we check in on the Pac-12, the weather perfect for the passing game, and it is flying. This was a tight one to the very end. And for Quinn, he had a touchdown one. reception in this game. Arizona wins it 27-20. All right, so I'm going to pause right here. I'll be right As we back. check in on the Pac-12, the
Sorry about that uh, long delay. We, uh, I had to uh, take the dogs out. Hang on. Hi, sweet. Oh, I swear to God. <laughs> Can't seem to have a break. Alright. <clears throat> gonna grab the last of these. Just so I can remember to throw this box away later. There we go. So I'll have to remember to throw away that later. Alright, so here we go. Okay, so they're gonna go for that. All right. They line up to kick this one away. There we go. Sends it sailing. God, that was field. bothering me. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Caught with room to work. The 50, and they finally push him out at the 49-yard line. What a great play. This is the timing that we talked about in the pregame that they must have in order to be successful with their passing game. That time, the quarterback threw it to a spot, and his receiver was there to make a nice grab. From the 49-yard line, first down. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He's at the 40, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 38. The screen play worked that time for a decent pickup. Yep, you're right. Excellent call to go to the screen to maybe slow down this defensive pass rush a little bit. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 38. Smith with a nice play fake. Quick throw, brought down right around the eight-yard line. Huge play for both the quarterback and receiver, but it all starts with the big fellas up front who provided the time to get the quarterback a chance to throw. A short yardage defense here. He's tackled at the seven. Britt picks up a yard on the play. Yes! Stop him! From the seven yard line, it's second down. Nice run there as they work the outside. Good for a gain of six yards. That makes it third and goal. Damn it. Defense stacked in tight here. Touchdown, OSU! <laughs> so it's the big hoss on the score. And I think the fullbacks deserve to get some of the spotlight. They're always out there working hard for everybody else. They're like a glorified offensive lineman. They never get any recognition. You knew that that touchdown was going to be won or lost in the trenches. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A seven-play, 74-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. He'll return it from the four-yard line. And he's taken down at the 27. Let's go, Mario! 
Come on! With some focus and smart. Hell yeah! Make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Let's go, Mario Brown! On the corner. At the thirty, to the twenty, the ten. Touchdown! Huge play. So they give it to the All-American, and he takes it all the way. Everybody's been talking about this guy before the season even started, and today we're getting a chance to see how good he really is. And he converts the extra point. the ball set and he looks ready to kick this one deep nice kick plenty of distance this one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback Brad this is my kind of game I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing both teams are challenging both of these defenses and I think this defense right now needs somebody to try to Hold lift on. up their spirits they seem to really be just out there I'll be quick going through the motions Sorry, I had to check on something. We're good to go, though. All right, here we go. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Fakes to the back, and he just gets rid of it. the 
corner. He's taken down at the 42-yard line. And a big run on third down. Anytime you can move the ball like this, you're putting a lot of pressure on that defense. First and 10. Wow. Ball on their own 42. So it's going to be a running game from this point on. Jesus. He's at midfield. Feel like feel like it's going to be a running back uh with a 10. Touchdown. Or in this case a rushing game. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. hits the PAT. A four-play, 75-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. Oregon State lines up for the kickoff. He's to the 20. He's out to the 30. He's taken down at the 34-yard line. Kirk, I know, is a former quarterback. You love these things when they work right. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. I think the more offense... Let's go! From one of these teams, you want to Mario Brown! Continue to get these kind of results. Woo! Get there, get there, get there. Dude, the legend! Inside the 30. The Unreal! This kid is unstoppable. Unstoppable in the run game. Let's go. His third trip to the end zone. You know, if you didn't have this guy on your Heisman list yet, then this game sure would make a believer out of you. Makes the PAT. Unreal. Looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. And he's tackled at the 33-yard line. Call it a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Makes it out to about the 50. Gain of 17 on the play. That makes it first and 10. And down he goes around the 47 yard line. From the 47 yard line. Second down. Tackled after a decent pickup. The scoreboard lit up in that first 15 minutes. The Eagles with a touchdown lead. Welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Catches it. And he's taken down around the 43-yard line. They get a one-yard loss on that one. Really? They just had nowhere to go after the catch.
Hill is back to receive. God bless it. Brought down at the 16-yard line. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Personal foul. Clipping. Receiving team. That one will put the offense Still in a hole, down. and they'll try to get some of that back on this upcoming play. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the eight yard line. Here we go. Brown gets the call. All right, here we go. Come on. Gets out to about the 17 yard line. Nice job, Mario Brown. the exact same play they just ran and judging by the slow reaction on the other side of the I ball, threw it way too early. It was unexpected. Jesus, I'm from itching my ear. 30 yard line. It's first down. Set. Goes quickly and it's almost intercepted. I like the scheme the defensive coordinator came up with here. They were all over the place on that play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. How did you drop that, Edwards? down 10 yards to go ball on the 30 yard line tackle made at the 32 yard line he gains a couple of yards on the carry that makes it fourth and eight almost Holman is waiting for the snap he drops it you just couldn't pull that one in clean. And Brad, that's what happens when you take your eyes off the ball. This was an error that should have been avoided. That return man is lucky that his team got the ball back or he would have heard an earful from the coach. Actually, he probably will anyway. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. And they make the stop right around the 32-yard line. That's good for a game of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Second down, eight yards to go. Let's go! Eric Peoples with a freaking interception. Let's go! Play action. Once in a Holy goal. crap, that is what we needed! Let's go! These guys lost a lot of talent to graduation yeah, last year, and they've got to put some new faces in there. And this guy looks like he's the real thing, and he can help in that area. We've Let's go, team. Mario Brown! 15 yard line. <laughs> On the ground with the tailback. They'll bring him down around the 29 yard line. Nice job with a big game for Mario Brown again. They go with the run. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 35-yard line. And if you just take a step back and look at things broadly, this guy has had a heck of a career rushing the football. You know, it's something... Let's go! Hard over the course of an Ron incident. Williams! You know he wants to be up on top. First down and 10 to go after the big game. Ron the Williams is making us proud. He's into the open field. And he's all the way in for the... 
the touchdown. Wow. When you see that end zone in front of you, it can elevate your running to another level. Awesome play. Oh, damn. Old Mississippi is definitely showing, or is that Missouri? Whatever the case, they're kicking Texas's butt right now. Studio, Reese, what have you got? The Rebels roll into this one ranked number 19 in the land. We've got a tight one going on here. Ole Miss is on top, 20 to 17. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Miller has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. in the maturation of a young quarterback. How does he respond to throwing an interception on that last drive? The game is in danger of getting out of hand early. It's very, very important that they not only hang on to the football this drive, but they also need to get a score on the board as well. The tackle at the 36-yard line. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. First and 10. Ball on the 36. Gets out to about the 44-yard line. He's been tearing it up in the running game. That carry puts him over 100 yards. The coaches have really got to be thrilled with how well he's been running so far. He's been aggressive. He's attacking the holes, but also improvising when he needs to. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Brought down at about the 49. Gain of five on the play. First down. Inside you. He's tackled at the 49 yard line. Second and nine. Oh! Second and nine. Ball on the 49 yard line. Going deep. Can't connect. There was just no way anybody could catch up with that pass. Again! Let's go! One amazing interception from Eric Peoples, who's smaller than this dude, manages to grab the ball. Let's it Holy fly. crap. He goes up, picked off. That's a great tackle at the 22 yard line. Boy, just when it looked like they had a chance to get right back into this game, they throw the interception. Now it's still early. Let's see if their defense can bail them out. It's first and ten. Ball on the 22. Let's go! Feeds it to the back. He's out to the 30. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. He's just claimed the school record for single-game rushing yards. He's been rushing with such determination. I think this just goes to show you he's one of the best around. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 39. They'll go with the run once again. 
gains his way to the 46-yard line. He is now the school's all-time leading rusher. He's had his eyes on this record since he stepped on this campus, and it's great for him to finally get there. From the 46-yard line, first down. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Gets out to around the 38. That's a game of eight on the play. That makes it second and two. The Eagles taking their first time out of the half. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Takes the ball right. He's taken down around the 30-yard line. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. Nice run to the outside. The Eagles using their third and final timeout. Nice job, Nicholas. Nice From job. 23 yard line. Second down. Big play, and it's first and goal. <sighs> we played a half of football. The Eagles lead 28 14. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Good thing we have these spectacular 1080p high-definition monitors in here. All the better to see these offenses execute with precision in the first half. Yeah, I, we, I like having the old-school black-and-white TVs, too, that show, that show a little bit of defense wow. occasionally. But, yeah, offensive plethora. I mean, you want to see... I was uh, very much right. This was definitely a running game thing. First half. I'm, not, I'm not sure that there was much resistance, but it's always fun to be able to dial a play up and know that it's going to work. And every single time you go, hey, this plays money, this plays money, this plays money, and you saw it. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. The middle for a nice game. Gain of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. He fights forward to about the 33. Gain of two yards. That'll bring up 32. Forward to about the 36. That's a gain of three on the play. That makes it first and ten. From their own 36 yard line. First down. Oh, yeah. Lose yards. All right. And a quick throw. No worries. I'll be ready. 
tackled for a loss. Loss of five there. Well, that play was sort of out Let of sync from the start. Right, let's hope this plan also works. Also recognize that the defense that made a great play. They read it from the get go. All right, we managed to stall them. Their own 31 yard line. It's second down. He makes it to the 32 yard line. the 33-yard line. Richard is the punter. All right, let's do it. He's to the 40. He's at midfield, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 46. It's been a fun night for this running back. Yeah, he sure is, Brad. And the thing that really impresses me is his ability to make the first guy miss. Anytime you can make that guy miss, it allows you to turn a routine play into a big play. And when you're an offensive coordinator and you have a back that's in this kind of zone, the most important thing for you to do, continue to give him the ball and continue to keep these drives alive because right now he is unstoppable. And down he goes, right around the 20. He's within striking distance of the single-game rushing record. It's not necessarily a surprise when a young man with this kind of dedication and work ethic has a game this good. First and 10. Ball on the 20. And he's taken down at the 9. This defense is looking to make it three straight trips to the red zone without a single point. And he's tackled at the six. A couple, maybe three yards on Yeah! Let's go! Second down, goal to go. Six yards to the end zone. And it pays off. Touchdown. push by the line in a really nice run. That'll get you into the end zone almost every time. And he converts the extra point. A four-play, 46-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. Gets to about the 17-yard line. Oregon State's getting stopped right now. They're unable to get anything going here in the third quarter. Well, I think what they have to do at this point is they oh, come get on. a little bit more of a hurry-up mode, a little bit more urgency, score, and hope that the defense can come up with a stop and hope you can get the ball back and put more points on. Their last drive ended in a punch, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Down. From their own 27 yard line. Let's go. We stopped him. Literally because of his own teammate. Let's go. He's got it out to his tight end. Tackle made at the 31. That little play action good for about four yards. That makes it second and six. Setting up play action. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. 
and they make the stop at about the Come on team, let's do this. And that one's going to drive the defensive coordinator absolutely crazy. This kid Oh, well, that so happened. Brad, exactly he just bounced right. off of one of my players and fell. Let's go. Stop this guy. I'll take those. From the 43 yard line. First down. Watch down and he's going to get sacked. Let's go, Patrick! Yeah! That is the third interception of the game. Well done. Get to that quick, and it's going the other way. Patrick's the kind of guy that makes big plays on the ball all game long. He was highly recruited because he's got a nose for the football, and then he's got the speed and the ball skills to make interceptions like that one. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 39. Got the corner. He's at midfield. And they push him out at the 49. touchdown advantage welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four looking for the corner they'll bring him down around the 36 yard line we've got a first and ten ball on the 36 yard line Look at that, new NCAA record. Mario Brown holds it now. He's knocked out of bounds at the 16-yard line. What a day he's had. The best individual rushing performance in college football history. He just claimed one of the Hi, Ron, let's do it. individual records in college football. And believe me, he has earned every single one of those. Thought he tried. <laughs> he doesn't have the skill as uh, Mario Brown does, but... He does have his moments. Hand off to the right. Gets to about the 14 yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. They'll give it off here. Nice run there as they work the outside. That's good for a game of seven yards. That'll bring up third and inches. One more good play and we're in. About the length of the football away from the first down marker. Here we go. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Let's go! Ron Williams! Hold on. This is the Got ninth it. play of this drive. They get on the board again. Touchdown. He's having quite a game. Three rushing touchdowns now. Until they can figure out how to slow him down, it's going to be very tough for them to get back into this game. Oh, come on. Kind of hoping that Washington wins, honestly. He hits the PAT. Here's an update from the studio and restate. The Ducks entered today's game ranked number 12 in the country, and they proved they're really a top 10 team. And for Oregon, they have a lethal pass catch combo, and it results in a touchdown. Damn, that goes far. Lead 7 0. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Miller ready to kick. 
Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Eagles have a defense that's a sight to behold, Kurt. Well, they just play with a chip on their shoulder. They are all over the field. The defensive line knows their job. The linebackers, the safeties, the corners, everybody plays as one. And they've been fun to watch today. Let's go with the sack! How the offense responds this time after throwing... Damon Gallard! I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after... Show moves, boss! Oh, God! <laughs> He's got to throw it in a hurry, and they got him. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. Oh, my God, that was bad. Let's go! Another one for David Gallard. Going for a tackle for loss on accident. There we go! Just under three to go in regulation. Brent gets it on the inside. He's tackled around the 17-yard line. Hill will be the return man. Wow. <laughs> Hill takes it at the 45. Tackle made at the 48. The Eagles coaching staff stuck to their game plan. It works. Yeah, give them a lot of credit for coming up with a plan where they knew they could find ways to get him the football. Even with all the recognition and defense being concerned about him, they came up with that plan and this young man delivered. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. They just seem like they've been in the end zone time and time again. There's not much negative you can say about this performance. From the 47-yard line, it's second down. Brought down right around the 46-yard line. Seven yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. That'll make it second and seven. Get out, get out, get out. Under a minute left in the game. They'll knock him down for a loss. One yard loss for the halfback. Nice job, Kaufman. down now and they need to get it to the 29. Slings it. He's taken down at the 26. Ron Williams! Unreal! Unreal. Ron Williams. The dude is nuts. Unreal. The greatest performance of running plays I have ever seen in the history of this game. 
What in the hell is going on? So a seven play, 53 yard drive. And they put up seven points. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear Unreal. Really demoralize the defense when they drive the ball down the field and a lot of the yards came on the ground. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is not the type of game you'd expect to see from an experienced quarterback. Well, I think even though he's a senior quarterback, you're still going to have games like this. The most important thing is he's got some experience to fall back on to realize that, hey, I can still get through this game and still be successful. And there it is. The lights went out a long one of the, time ago. One of the, one of the greatest be put out of their misery soon. halfback and fullback performances we've ever yeah, seen. This is truly the line. greatest run play dominating game we've ever had in our lives and of course mario brown oh hold on hey sweetie the eagles know that they have to enjoy this guy while they've got him because somewhere down the line he's going to be at the next level well that'll oh. definitely be in his future but all right now, but still unreal and Mario Brown had just completely dominated Oregon State alone with his running plays. This was a game that was solely runs and nothing else. Unfreaking real. This is absolutely insane. Not to mention, he set the. We already have someone who just tied the school record for the most TD rushing TDs in a game. But now we have the most rushing yards in the game at 445 and school rushing yards in a season 2,334 for Mario Brown. And he can still keep going since we're not even done with the season yet. <coughs> what an absolutely amazing performance from not just our offensive line, for managing to keep uh, give openings to, to Ron Williams, to... Mario Brown and everybody else, but just the halfbacks in general and fullbacks. They completely carry this game. <clears throat> this was just pure, unadulterated, just run plays and winning every time. We're advancing the week, and we're going, in, going against California. Ow, my fingers. How you doing there, Lunda? Still, that was completely run play domination on both sides. <clears throat> the only difference is that we were making points while they were barely making anything. And the sad part is, next season will be Mario Brown's last. However, if he makes it to the NFL, I'll be damn proud of him. He deserves a damn win after all this. Oh yeah, I answered you before. Did you not hear me when I was answering your answering your messages? Huh. So let's see what we got here for how our team's doing. Okay, so Curtis Williams locked us out. Ray Edwards as well as Derek Wade. Carlos Charles are all ready to visit. All right, so we have Dan as well as Travis both committing to Wisconsin. That kind of sucks a bit, but that's what happens. But hey, we got some good stuff here. Coach of the Year finalist, awesome. We got finalist for the Heisman Trophy. Let's go! Billin Bolitnikov Trophy for finalist Lombardi, best 
Oh my god, are you serious? Look at all of this! We got so many finalists! So the finalists for the Walter Camp! God bless it! NCAA Player of the Week! Conference Player of the Week! Good god! Look at all these awards! You cannot give in to the devil, my friend. For the Lord is with you. My friend used to tell me that all the time. Alright, so wow. Absolutely amazing. We have several finalists right now, which is absolutely insane. I love this. Okay, so... What we are going to do is that we're going to get rid of any players that are already done. So, any players that have locked us out, we are just getting rid of them. So, yep, as much as I really want this player, we are not even close. So, we're going to get rid of him, sadly. Travis Thomas has already made the decision, along with Dan Bradford. So, they're out. Um, yep, so we're good there. Okay, so let's take a look at players ready to visit right now. You know what? Screw it. We're going to have these guys on the uh, California game. Well, at least this one is. And we'll put him on the bye week. Alright, so we had to delete three players, which means we have to replace three more. So... Let's search for anybody that we could potentially need. We already got a kicker, so we're good there. Um, let's look for a halfback, if we can. Maybe at least get another halfback on our team that could really help. Uh, let's do top three schools, if possible. Seven matches found, good. Okay, so it looks like uh, we are currently second with this guy. So yeah, we'll put one. We'll add uh, Rob Mitchell to the uh, list. Hey, you know. I actually can't believe I'm saying this. Uh, Simon from uh, AG America's Got Talent said to this kid that people bully, uh, uh, like uh, bullies, bully people because they sadly know that you're better than them. But, yeah. That's just from what I remember. Okay, but honestly, I say we all have our own unique talents, and the best thing we can do is just try our best to make every moment count. Alright, so we're going to look for anybody that is at least in this. There we go. Alright, we got three matches found. Uh, God bless it. Yep, fine. I guess I'll have to put that guy in because I don't really have much of a choice. He's the only one available. And we have two seniors. Uh, we'll have to have one more offensive linebacker for Lucky. But uh, I think for right now, I think we're pretty good on all this. So we're going to do this. We are going to at least try to look for... One match. And it's someone we already have. Never mind. Uh... Let's try this. Strong safety. One match. Already have him. What about free safety? One. God bless it, we already have. 
Uh, same goes with me too. Five matches. Okay, so we at least got someone here we could potentially get. Yeah, we'll put Raymond. Alright, so that replaces the three we had to get rid of on the recruitment board. But this also gives us an opportunity to potentially recruit them if we're lucky. Alright, so we're going to go over to specifically uh, this. We're already uh, decently doing well with that, so I don't think we really have to really worry about that. We're only just 25 points behind that, how? Um, yeah, we're not even close to that, but we're going to keep it anyway, just in case. Um, actually, wait, no, 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 we'll take the points back. This depends on how he is here. Okay, that's fine. I'll take him. I'll take him. And you know what? We're actually going to schedule him... Oh, wait, no, we can't. Me. Um... Now the question is... Okay, not bad. We'll put 100 points in it. Oh, shit, never mind. Actually, you know what? No, we'll put 100. Oh, wait, he already has the points. Never mind. Well, yeah, we'll just put it there. Alright, so we already took care of that part. So we're going to do this, head to the coach skill tree. Uh, we are definitely putting a... Uh, surprisingly, we haven't gotten any points here, but we're getting close. We're getting really close with Titus Barnett with a level up very soon, as well as, of course, Jason Warren. We'll be seeing those two eventually uh, get a level up, and we can start upgrading those points. There we go, we got matchups. There we go. Alright, so we have that. We are now good to go in that front. We got our point there, and now we have this game. Oops, I almost advanced the week. Um, okay, so according to this, we have our matchup against California right now. And then finally, we have the bye week. Which will then hopefully lead to the bowl games and see what we can get from there. Right now, we are currently at the number one spot in the in the Pac-12. So, it's basically right now, everything that's going on right now. So, if Georgia loses, this could potentially change our situation. Actually, if any of these team, any of the ranked teams lose, they're gonna absolutely pay for it later. Let's find out what position we are. I'm very curious. I think we're, we gotta be in the least. Uh, oh, we're still in number 14, right? Oh no, we rose to 13. Okay, so we're at least in top 15 still. We're almost to the top 10. At the rate we're going, we might make it there potentially. Things are going to be all right, Linda. Don't worry. Oops. Oh, wait. Uh, maybe I can schedule... Actually, wait. Actually, wait. Hold on. I need to do one last thing. I need to see if uh, anybody is ready to be ready for visits. Because if we do have anybody else left visiting, we may need to... Okay, so, nope. It looks like... Uh, yep. 
All right, so pretty much we are golden everywhere else at this point. All we need to do is, well, basically just win the game. Yeah, so basically right now, um, they're all ready for bye weeks. And the rest, we are just getting ready for an all getting ready for something so all right so here we go we are now beginning our matchup against california and then we'll be heading off into the bye week right afterwards also we'll be switching up our schedule and we're going to be changing teams not like we're not leaving eastern washington university we're Gonna be switching up the schedule so that we'll be challenging different teams next season. And maybe, if we're lucky, try to get into against more ranked teams now that we have a lot of amazing players under our roster, which would definitely help us out a lot. Okay, so right now we are 91st in passing offensive yards. Are you serious? Defensive yards is 44th, so we're definitely better than... Uh, uh, California in that regard. Actually, I think to some degree this might be the opportunity for us to actually start doing some passing for this final game because remember, this is the final game for a lot of our seniors. They're going to be moving on to do whatever they want to do. So this will be their final game. So I'm going to concentrate on passing for the majority of the game if I can. If not, then we'll switch over and do what we can here. All right, so we got Derek Wade, we got Carlos Charles, and we have Ray Edwards. So this is definitely going to be necessary. We're going to need the passing in this one. So it's actually a good thing that we're on this right now. So without further ado, let's give these seniors one last game. Hi everybody, Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. The Eagles have not only put together a nice winning streak, they're starting to play at a much higher level and they've energized their entire campus. Now the question is, will they be able to handle everybody on campus, patting them on the back, telling them how good they are, and telling them how they expect a big win in this one? That's going to do it for us. Thanks Our last game at home. Game show. For a lot of these NCAA seniors, this is their last chance Brad and Kirk on the call. to be a part of this historic moment. Okay, so I'm actually going to... Oh, wait, I can't. I think we have to wait until we get this. All right, so we're going to kick off first, and we'll get the ball second. All right, so before I get started, we are doing some, we're doing some changes to the depth chart. Only this one time. So we are going to be saying goodbye to a lot of our other players. So I think we'll have Vito... Uh, Take over for last se for uh, next season for the, his final game, so we'll at least give something for him. So yeah, in this case, uh, we're still gonna keep Lee Ward. Um, we have the freshman Ron Williams. A lot of our running backs are technically uh, yeah, like Demetrius Bronson and Daniel Johnson. They're all technically. Uh, Juniors, so we may have to switch out and maybe give something to them eventually. Um, Brent Rhodes, as well as Mike Tate, are technically uh, freshmen, so this is technically... Uh, yeah, here they are. All right, so Brandon Kaufman and Nicholas Edwards are already at... Uh, they're already at the top spot, meaning that they're going to be playing throughout this one. Greg Hurd is also a senior in this, so we'll be seeing the three of them... 
we're going to be saying goodbye to Greg Hurd, Nicholas Edwards, and Brandon Kaufman and saying goodbye to them officially. Uh, Shaq Hill is a sophomore, but he is still going to be with us for two more years. For tight ends, uh, we actually don't have any seniors, so we can keep them where they are. The tackles, um, we actually do have a senior, and it's Josh Antonson, so we are actually going to switch him out, I think. Yeah, we're going to have... Yeah, left tackle... On. Let me see, who can I, uh... Yeah, we'll have post. Left guard. Let me just see if we have a left guard that is currently a senior. No, we do not, so we're good. Uh, center. Freshman is Paul Lake. So, nope, I think we're actually good there, but we'll double check anyway. And nope, he's a uh, he is actually a, a junior, so he'll be okay for right now. So we'll just keep him where he is. Um, right guard, we do have a senior, Antonson, like I said earlier. So we may have to uh, switch him out so he gets a chance to play one last game. So here we go. We're gonna give this spot to Antonson right here. So there you go, buddy. Antonson, this is your last game. You deserve at least one moment in the spotlight, buddy. You've earned it. So we're going to give a lot of our seniors the last run for their entire history. So this will be saying goodbye to a lot of them. And we are going to have Will Post take over as... Oh, wait. What the... F oh, did he actually get switched out? Oh, shit. Well, that sucks. Oh, well. We'll give him an opportunity, I think, some other time some other time or maybe sometime during the game maybe in the second half oh wait no he's right there okay never mind he's already there okay now we have the left and right defensive ends so let's see actually wait a minute gallard is a junior vince white's a freshman so we're gonna take a look here Yeah, we're good there, so David's going to be sticking around. Now for the right ends. I believe we have actually some seniors here. Okay, so we have the freshmen, Zilstra, and Day, but Seha is a senior, so this will be his final game. So we'll keep him in there for the time being. Um... Now we have defensive tackles. Uh, senior Evan Cook is going to be in his last regular season game. So he'll be leading the charge. Let me just double check and see if uh, we do need anybody from that. So defensive tackles. Pulu is staying. Yeah. Uh, uh. So yeah, I guess Evan Cook is the only one. So we don't have to worry about that. However, it looks like Washburn, this will be his final game as an offensive linebacker, specifically left. So, and since he's already in position, we'll leave him there. Middle linebacker is the sophomore. Uh, let's see if anybody else has that position. So we're going to double check that now. Nope, we do not have any seniors in this department. So... He will get the green light to stick stick around for the line lineup here. Um, 
right? Uh, offensive linebacker. Uh, let's see. Do we have anybody in that position that is a senior? Because if there is, we are replacing him temporarily for this game. Nope. Agin is... Yep, no. Actually, no. Williams is technically the senior. So he's good to stay. Uh, now is cornerback. Uh, let's see. We only have freshmen and juniors. So we're good there, but um, I'll double check to make sure. There, Eric people, sophomore, sophomore, freshman. So yeah, we have a whole bunch of freshmen, juniors, and and sophomores, but no seniors whatsoever. <clears throat> Next is free safety. All right, so we have Jeff Minerly, who's already in the position, so we're going to double-check here. All right, so for free safeties, we have Terrence Washington, Calvin Harrison, and Alan Brown, who are the three that will be taking over his position after all is said and done, since they're the only three freshman free safeties we have. So Minerly, this will be his final game of the, of the regular season, so... Good to have you with us, buddy. We're going to actually do this. We're going to switch you out with Terrence Washington. And you switch out with Calvin Harrison. Get those guys into the depth chart right now. Then we have strong safeties. Uh, senior Dominic Shepard will be taking over this one. So we have that. And strong safeties, I think... He Oh, wait, hang on. And we also have uh, Brian Harris. We are going to put him in there as well. Um, yeah, that works. Um, kicker, of course, is our senior, Kevin Miller, will be leaving us for this season. And for our punter, we have the junior, Cameron Holman, who will be, of course, leaving us next season. So we'll be saying goodbye to those guys as well. As for our kick returners, we have been doing pretty good so far here. However, for well, one time I'm going to do it, Kaufman is going to stick with wide receiver. We're going to keep Shaq Hill as our kick returner, as well as our punt returner for this one. So we will not be needing their help in this case. Other than that, though, this is pretty much us saying goodbye to every single one of our seniors in this one game. And luckily enough... Any changes we make in in the middle of a match do not translate to the actual uh, depth chart afterwards. So this will be the only time we do this. We'll be saying goodbye to a lot of these players. So let's give them one hell of a game to go out on. Let's let's give the let's make this game a fond farewell to all of our seniors who will be leaving this season. He looks ready to kick this one deep to open up the ball game. Here we go, folks. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone. There's Seha, Cook, Pulu. There's every, Galler. We have all of our best players right here for one last game to say goodbye to our inevitable friends. Oh. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. He just got tapped, dude. Out to the tight end. Nice play, knocked loose. You can't blame him for not hanging on to that pass. He got hit pretty hard. That makes it second and ten. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Hang on. It's the tailback. They'll bring him down around the 23 yard line. Loss of oh, two by the halfback. There we go. That was fell off. Okay, never mind. Ooh, okay, our defense is doing great. From their own 23-yard line. For our defense, this is their final goodbye. It sucks to say, but this is their the end. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. Maybe three yards that time on the pass. The Ooh, I almost messed that up. The hands of the halfback here, and he did a pretty good job of getting a few yards, but the defense was just swarming to the ball right there.
Nice job with the 27 yard return. And like I said, this is going to be, we're going to try to mainly make this a passing team. So this will be a way to say goodbye to each and every one of our players for such an amazing season. So the offense will come out for their first possession. Good field position for their first possession of the ball game. Let's see if they can capitalize off of it. He's at the 20. Quick pass. And they make the stop around the 15-yard line. Guys, I really like what the offensive coordinator is doing here. Throwing it on first and second down will keep the defense guessing. Wow! What a freaking deflection! From the 15-yard line. First down. release oh had it knocked down that was a nice play anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus and he can't get away from the pressure that is a loss of six on the play that'll bring up third and long Wow! How did he pull that off? Mario Brown, I swear to God, I don't know. I'll never know how he does that. Inside the ten, and it pays off. Touchdown! Brad, this guy had a huge year last year, but look at him now. I think he even looks bigger than he did a year. Will you stop being an ass? It literally hits a bottle. <laughs> and he tacks on the extra point. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? The Bulldogs came into the game ranked fifth. After that performance, they'll drop like a stone. And for Georgia Tech, their hot streak continues. The Yellow Jackets cruise by 17. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Miller has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 23-yard line. The Eagles are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Washington. Nice job! Nice job, nice job. Tackle made right around the 26 yard line. That makes it 37. Nice job for Pulu with a sack. It's third and seven. Ball on the 26-yard line. Scrambling around. And they got him. And that's sack number five on the year. He really fought to get to the quarterback that time. He's certainly shown that he can get it done on a week-to-week -week basis. Nice job with Shaq Hill. Richards awaits the snap. He's at midfield. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. He showed a good burst there. Did he seriously just drop it? Offense 
now will take the field and they hope to have the same success they had on their last drive. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. Nice job for Kaufman right there with a great reception. From the 37 yard line, second down. complete over the middle. Good open field tackle. Oh, shit. Okay, I actually did not expect that. Well done. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 16. over the middle and it picked off good job to pick that ball off he did a great job at getting in that passing lane and coming away with the ball almost had it almost had it What does? It's second and ten. Ball on their own sixteen. Stop being a little scared again. <laughs> she freaks out just because I threw it in the bag. Around the twenty-one yard line. Peoples with the tackle at the twenty-one yard line. That'll make it seem bad. Completely stopped immediately. That'll make it fourth and two. Hill is back deep to return the punt. And down he goes at the forty three. Nice job, Kaufman. Nice job. The offense will take the field, hoping for a better result than their last drive. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. He's taken down at the 48-yard line. Second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Dangerous pass, and they just about had it going the other way. Oh, he tried. already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. 7-0, Eagles. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. This is a very questionable play call here. I'm not sure I agree with it. And he's still on his feet. Up the middle for a nice game. How about that run? Old-fashioned football, definitely. Nice job, Edwards. Nice job. And let him grind it out for the first down. From the 41 yard line. First down. Quick out to his receiver. And down he goes at the 33. Nice job, Edwards. That'll bring up second and three. Five yard 
words again. First down, ten to go. Ball in the twenty-five. Here comes the pressure with a quick throw. And he's taken down at the six-yard line. Nice job, Hurd! Hoping to go up two touchdowns here. So the offense back in the red zone here and looking to erase the memory. Nice job, Greg Hurd. Caught end zone for the touchdown. This team has so many potent weapons. It's tough to try to single out just one of them to stop. Yard drive, and it's good for seven points. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do much better. Nice job, Harris. Nice job. Lead that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. And he is drilled at the 24. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. That is a textbook. Nice job! Right. He leveled his shoulders and just put his whole body weight. David Gallard. Oh, it's just in the pocket back right there. Ow. Here they come. And he tackles him hard at the 15-yard line. That's a loss of nine on the play. That makes it fourth and nine. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Richards to punt. Hill takes it at the 47. Gets to about the 37-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. All right, we're doing great so far in the passing game. There's a strike complete. He's tackled right around the 28-yard line. Nice job, Edwards! Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Quick throw out to the receiver. Tackle at the 14. Ow. What kind of call is that? With a big lead, you're throwing the football, and the interception here could end up costing you. It's first and ten. All on their own 11. Got an opening. Makes it to the 31. What a play. Just a simple option play here. The quarterback gives it up, and they get good yardage. Great play. Get out, get out, get 
Fires out to his receiver. They'll bring him down. Right around the nice job with the sack right there. I think that was Gallard's second. <laughs> nice job. Just pushes him down. Let's go. California's going to use their first time out of the half here. We might be looking at the eventual team record holder for single season sacks. This guy's beating the man across from him. Double teams, triple teams, chip blocks, help from the backfield. You name it. Nothing's been able to slow this guy down. Wow, fumble and a sack. So the sack makes this a second and long. The ball is loose. Picks up the fumble. They bring him down in the backfield. Nice, another one. Gallard with three sacks today. And it's four and thirty-six. Jesus Christ's sake! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh yeah, I just had to pop my back right there. Ow! Richards is waiting for the snap. The Eagles will use their first time out of the half. today Herbie we looked at it all week as being a ground oriented attack and I'm a little bit surprised by how they're moving the ball in the air this has been fun to watch you're right I mean I, I thought we'd come in and see a, a dominant running game and up to this point it's really been more about the quarterback and the receivers their last drive ended with an interception we're about to find out what the defense can do this time so much in football is about how you respond to adversity moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that the intended receiver on the play. Nice job with the first down. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 34 yard line. Here we go. And they make the stop at the 45 yard line. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing. Oh! Holy shit! Get clotheslined! But he's still okay. And he's immediately tackled. Guys, I really like what the offensive coordinator is doing here. Throwing it on first and second down will keep the defense guessing. Almost caught it in that coverage! Holy shit! From the 43 yard line, it's first down. Deep ball, laying it out there. Here's a case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. the 33 yard line the eagles use their second time out oh my god he was so up wow it's third down and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker catches it and he's looking for more It's a great tackle. The 20 yard line. He's a solid blocker, but as he showed right there on third down, he also has soft hands for a big guy. The Eagles using their third and final timeout.
First and ten. Ball on the 20. Quick throw, and he's got his receiver again. Nice play to set up first and goal. We're halfway through, and it's been a good one. 14-0, Eagle. Damn, he actually ran into one of his teammates. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action, just about ready to start here. Hill, fields it at the nine. Brought down at the 28. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Goes complete, he's hit right away. That's a seven yard gain. Good decision here, nice dump off. It's only seven yards, but the offense will take that play every time. Second down, and they're gonna need about three yards to pick up the first down. Going deep, lays it out there. And he went way up, and he's got the interception. And he's tackled around the 29-yard line. Hey, this could potentially turn this football game around. They're down by a couple scores, but if you're the offense and you're on the sideline and you're not feeling good about yourself and your defense comes up with an interception like that, boy, oh, boy, you're grabbing your helmet. Gotta admit, this is that. definitely going to be an interesting go. game. Met immediately. Defensive coordinator has a lot of confidence in his pass defense if he's releasing a safety to stop the run. <coughs> From the 33 yard line. <coughs> Damn. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Alright, so what are they going to do here? Job by the defense of getting after that quarterback, and right now I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. The nine yard line. And for Ward, it's a rough night. Well, for a lot of quarterbacks, they struggle in these kind of conditions because the, the snow and the cold conditions can affect your grip, your footing, just your overall vision and feel. And maybe that's taking a toll on him right now with all these turnovers. An interception cut this offense last drive short, so I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Fred, you remember the year that this guy had last year? Looking at him yesterday in practice, he looks bigger, he looks stronger, he looks faster. Look out this year. He's going to have a better year this year than he even had last year. Run down after a nice run up the middle. Nice job, Kaufman! Jesus. From their own 13 yard line. Third down. Here we go. He's taken down at about the 25 yard line. Nice job for Kaufman. yard line first down all right got a man complete he's hit hard that brings up 
second and five. Sets up the play action, throws it deep. The defender had it and then dropped it. Number 88 was oh, let's go, Kaufman! Third down. Touchdown! They'll line it up again on third down. Here we go! Hit as he threw, and he completes it. The 10. He's all the way. Touchdown. Holy crap. Excellent play here by the quarterback, making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. And it takes some real accuracy on those deep corner routes. So kudos to the quarterback. Oh, holy crap. Oh wow, South Carolina versus Clemson. Oh my lord, it's down to the wire. He hits the PAT. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Clemson and South Carolina hook up in the Battle of the Palmetto State. These two teams hate each other. And for Timmons, a solid day, better than 250 yard passing. A three touchdown <laughs> difference here, Reese, 21 to nothing. Miller has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Golden Bears have just gone ice cold on offense. They can't seem to get anything going. Uh, and right now, they just have to forget the score, forget the clock, just go out there and try to get a first down. <coughs> hope to build a little bit more confidence and continuity on this offense. Well, you know the offense would like to generate more than they did on their last possession. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. And he just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. From their own 22-yard line, second down, five wide. Quick out to his receiver. Brought down at the 25. But he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. complete he's got room to work and he's taken down at about the 39 nice job <coughs> that makes it first and ten nice job you got anything on that <coughs> let's stall him people oh is he okay uh, I hope he's all right. Oh, let me look. Fires it out, and down he goes at the 43-yard line. Oh, ouch! Yeah, I, I'm glad he's coming back soon, but damn, that sounds like it hurts. Why did he? Oh, did he slip? Oh crap, he slipped. Come out in a five wide set. Cause I didn't even press a button. Looking right, intercepted. He's at the forty. Not a good decision there. Why did he even throw that pass? Well, it's a good job by the corner of sitting back and reading the quarterback's eyes. Good job of disguising coverage as well. <coughs> First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. The Golden Bears had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. Caught, open field. He's tackled around the 24-yard line. Throw 
Going left. It's knocked away, incomplete. He got a lot of air under that pass, and he gave it a nice time job. To make a play. That makes it second and ten. From the 24-yard line, second down. Quick throw, a huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. Nice job for Brent Rhodes right there. The Eagles with a three touchdown advantage. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. And All right, so I am in the pause for just a moment. And we'll be right back in just a little bit.
Hey everybody, I'm back. Let's continue. chip on their shoulder they are all nice job the defensive line knows their job the linebackers the safeties the corners everybody plays as one and they've been fun to watch today and it'll be interesting to see how much oh this, team has left in them. this has been oh really i just advanced. popped right at the spine the end. quick strike and he drops it So it's second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Game of six yards. That'll bring up third and four. Nice job. to punt. Hill fields it to the 37, and he's tackled at the 49. The Eagles staff has got to be ecstatic, whether it's chest Holy or out there today. <laughs> Holy hell! Defensive staff trying to he went up into the air! came in with a mindset of stopping the running game, first and foremost. And unfortunately for this defense, they've lost the battle out on the perimeter. And right now, they're giving up two oh. big plays through the air. He gets up like it's nothing. Whiteout makes the first down catch. Tackle made around the 36-yard line. And reward, he hits the 300-yard mark. Well, this quarterback has had a solid game. He's done what's been asked of him, and then some. From the 30 yeah, we made the 250 line. yards. Oops. Because the defender doesn't I actually the pressed the button. The I wasn't trying to. It's, under it's all based on connection between the corner. I was actually thinking I'm gonna run it with him, but unfortunately, I pressed the button when I didn't need to. Had his hands on it and dropped it. Let's go, Kaufman! Was the intended receiver on the play? That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 14-yard line. Fires quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can think the oh, play wow. going there. Very impressive. on the extra point. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. Arch rivals in the desert. Arizona and Arizona State square off in the big game. And for Arizona State, they try to become bowl eligible. The Sun Devils have the edge. 3 nothing. Thanks, Reese. Well, this one's not even close. <laughs> and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. 
nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 30-yard line. The Eagles have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. <coughs> And he's tackled around the 40-yard line. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That will make it second in inches. All right, come on, team. Let's go. We got this. Up the middle for a nice game. Game of seven on the play. First down. The Eagles taking their first time out of the half. First and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. He's out of bounds at around the 48-yard line. Gain of five yards. That will make it second and four. At the 30, he's knocked out of bounds at the 28 yard line. Gain of 20 on the play. First down. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. Now he's got the school record for sacks in a season. This guy's been a destroyer all year long getting into the backfield, and I'm sure he's happy to have this new record. Defense will <laughs> another sack here on this second and 13 situation. And he just gets rid of it. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. They'll line up with five wide receivers. that quickly incomplete that pass didn't look exactly right when it left his hand sometimes you don't get a great grip on the ball yes it comes out a little wobbly the eagles use their second timeout so they're gonna go for it here steps up and goes down when the first down marker is that far away, someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. He's got his man. <laughs> He's taken down right around the 46-yard line. That makes it first and ten. We have two minutes left to play in this game. throws right this one will fall incomplete you never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that good effort by the defense almost that makes it second and ten rolling out to the left side Aaron and out long in and out of his hands Nice job, Gearing! I have absolutely no clue why they're trying a pass play. That brings up third and ten. Third down, and they need to get it inside the <laughs> forty-four. He wants it all going long. They'll bring him down at the forty-four. Yes! Once this guy gets into the secondary, he can be a real problem to bring down. <coughs> he can shake off a lot of tacklers who are smaller than he is. Gets it. He's in space. All right, let's keep giving these guys some points. And let's keep winning. Get the latest. 
introduce now from Reese Davis. Oregon and Oregon State in the somewhat ironically named Civil War. And for Oregon, a victory would lift them to the magical 10-win mark. Miller, ready to kick, sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, this defense has got to be proud of what they've been able to do in this football game so far. Love to see the goose eggs up there for this defense. And the way their offense is playing, this game is really good <coughs> for this team. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Brought down around the 37-yard line. That's a gain of 12 on the play. First down. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. From their own 41 yard line. Third down. Well, a nice stop there late in the fourth quarter, but it's a blowout and has been for most of the game. I think it's time for everybody to go home. That'll make it fourth and 14. The Eagles using their third and final timeout. <clears throat> Richards is waiting for the snap. He's tackled at the 37. The Eagles have been about as impressive as you can be in a football game. Wow, this is as good as it gets. The defense is playing great. The offense has done their job. We've got a blowout here. Well, late in the fourth quarter, this game has been over for a long time, and now we just want to get out of here like these two teams do. And he's taken down at the 44. Well, we have one hell of a game, and we shut out California. <clears throat> one hell of a way to finally say goodbye to a lot of our players that will be leaving after the bowl game. Setting up play action. Deep ball and for once, Brandon Kaufman gets the freaking uh, play player of the game. This one was never close today. And to end the season with a shutout. That was worth it. So that wraps things up for us. For EA Sports, Kirk Street. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time. This will be a great send-off for the team. Oh, hang on. Hey there, sweetie. All right, I had to say the cat. <clears throat> what a performance right here. Punt under 10 points, shut out opponent. Everything right here has just been amazing. From recorded touchdowns in the game, sacks in the game, season, sacks in a season. We just had possibly one of the best games to end on for a lot of our seniors who will be leaving after all this.
It's actually kind of sad, really. A lot of the players that you guys have seen for two seasons will now be leaving and will be heading off to hopefully have amazing careers either in the NFL or past the NFL when the time comes. With that in mind... Here we go. We're going to be advancing both this week and the bye week. Unless there's something that happens during the recruiting process. <laughs> the only thing I can think of right now... Is that there might be a way for me to have a chance to steal a player from one of the neighboring schools during the offseason. It would be my only chance to really be able to grab a player and be able to have him on our team when this whole thing's over. So we'll find out soon enough if that's actually possible. If it is, then there's a very good likelihood that I might be able to steal a high value player from another, uh, from another school. If they're willing to give us the opportunity, of course. For Kaufman and Edwards, they got records. That's what we needed. The offensive coordinator, Jason Warren, and defensive coordinator, Titus Barnett, are now at level 14. Marcus has committed to our team, as well as, of course, Derek Wade and Jeremy Hunter. That is amazing. Jeff Thomas, along with Justin Crum, and Brandon Clark will be visiting our school this week. Uh, Paul Hall has just um, locked us out. And Joey Davis has committed to Texas Tech. All right, so with that in mind... And, of course, Ray Edwards got 950 points from our game, along with Carlos Charles with 1,050 points, which is going to absolutely save us. But we got a four-star prospect from that, uh, along with signing a three-star prospect, which definitely helps, as well as just signing a regular prospect as well. We have been absolutely blessed with amazing luck in getting some good players for the upcoming season. So here we go. We're actually going to do this. And here's my strategy for this one. First of all, we are getting rid of any players that, are, that have locked us out. And yep, we are getting rid of that. Paul Hall has locked us out, so there's nothing we can do. Get rid of Joey Davis, since we don't really need him right now, especially since we have already a whole bunch of recruits now. Um, we are now going to be adding two more players, but we're going to try to specifically search for anybody that could potentially be stolen. And first is QB, and we are going to go for top three schools, top five. Let's see, can we steal someone? No, we cannot. Okay, so it looks like... Uh, I think the only thing I can do is do the all prospects thing. It would be in my best bet right now. So here we go. We're going to do this. We're looking for QBs. We're going to do that. We're going to potentially try to steal Derek Reed if we're lucky. For halfbacks, we're going to try to steal Paul Phil Green. Oh, wait, nope. Narrowed his decision. Then Corey Samuel will be our best bet. For fullback, we're already good on fullbacks for the rest of the season, so we're good there. Uh, we're actually going to try to get Melton. Oh, wait, nope, never mind. What about Johnson? Nope, not Johnson either. Burke? Not Burke either. Uh, Neely? My God, Anderson? Palmer, are you freaking kidding me? Are you serious? Okay, we could get Doug Clark. All right, so there is a chance we could steal him. All right, so tight ends. Fuck me. Coleman? Nope. 
Swamp. Thomas. Henley. Williams? Freaking damn it. Larry Smith. Damn it. Sherman? Okay, we can get Sherman, so that's at least something. Tackles. Can we get anyone here, please? And remember, these are players I am hoping to try to steal from other schools if I put enough points in. Our points are maxed out right now for the offseason, which means we can just absolutely railroad the points we need in order to get these guys. Alright, since we're already in the 60s, there's no way in hell that's happening. Uh, Thompson. Nope. Uh, Cummings? No. Uh, Turner? No. Wait, is his... Oh, I was wondering, if, I swear to God, if that per player's name was Jim Cummings, I'd be like, oh my god, I need him. But no, it's Jack. Damn it. That'd be funny as hell. Uh, locked us out, so... Fully committed already. Are we in the 60s? Yes, we are. So we're gonna just leave that. Wait, what? Oh, our board is full. Okay. Alright, so, with that in mind, we are going to do a few extra changes. Let's see how we are doing in other aspects, like in terms of rating from other teams. Yeah, we'll keep him. Uh, as much as I want to, we are going to remove Jeff Walsh. Just not worth it. Not worth the aggravation it's going to take in order to get that player, but it's not really going to be worth it anyway. Rob Mitchell, um... Hold on, let's see. It Does he have... Is he a gem? No, he's worse. Get rid of him. Uh... Hold on. How, how far away are we on this guy? Oh, yeah. Get rid of him. Uh, get rid of him. Maybe him, but we are definitely getting rid of this guy. Jim Harris, not worth it. Uh, I think we could potentially steal Derek Reed if we put all the points into him. Along with Corey Samuel and Doug Clark. Okay, so, going back to all prospects. Let's see, we're going to definitely get some defensive tackles because we are definitely going to need it. Actually, I'll just do this. We'll do search. Okay, uh, looking for defensive tackles. And interested, let's go with top... Let's go with top five schools. Anything that could potentially give us an advantage would help. Alright, let's go with top 10 schools. Any? Freaking hell! And all of them are locked out! Are you serious? God bless it, we are not having any luck today on that front. Alright, let's do defensive ends. Let's look for defensive ends now. And you want, we'll just keep it to not committed and any. Because <clears throat> anything we can get would be helpful. Everyone's locked out here too? Holy Jesus! Alright, let's go with tackles. Please, anything will be helpful right now. Are you kidding me? Alright, so it looks like we're just completely locked out here. Alright, so with that in mind, we are going to at least go over to the coach thing and try to get that finished. So, we're going to go to coach skill trees. And go to defensive tap, defensive coordinator. Yeah, we're going to do this. We're going to go for ball burglar first, and then we'll go into tackling next. Because I feel like we're going to need that one next, considering how what, how we're actually struggling on the 
interceptions department. Luckily enough, I am actually going to do this. We are going to uh, put a point in cannon to give our QBs a chance to really show their stuff in the season. Plus, we really need it considering our options right now. All right. Gotta throw this in here. With that said, we are now ready to go for the bye week and advance. Next will be the uh, Pac-12 Conference Championship. And then it is the, hopefully the, Ro and I know we're going to be getting the Rose Bowl game at the rate we're going, so. Oh, shoot, I didn't even use any of my recruitment points. Oh, well. A lot of it was mainly just scouting anyway. It's not like we were actually going to be giving anybody any scholarships at this point. Especially if there's no real point. Conference Championships, here we go. What would be awesome if we could actually get the National Championship. That would be amazing. Alright, so Ray has committed to our team. Derek Reed has committed to Boston College. Damn it. Um, Sherman has locked us out. Marshall and Washington. Great. So we only got one as a cornerback, so that's not entirely bad. At least we got something. We signed a three-star prospect. We have we just made it into the top 25, and we've made it to a conference championship game, which is exactly what we were hoping for this season. It really does pay off in the end. And it's against Arizona State University. Are you serious? Holy hell. Okay, I'm actually very excited with this one. We're going to destroy them. Hopefully. Let's take a look at bowl projections. Rose Bowl. We are actually going to be going against Georgia Tech this time, it looks like. So it looks like we will not be facing Georgia, which kind of sucks, but hey, what can you do? But yes, we are the 11th best team in the nation, and we're going against the Arizona State University. I'm kind of shocked, but okay. Arizona State, Su Arizona State Sun Devils versus us. Here we go. After this, we'll be going straight into a bowl game, I think. Yeah, it, but pretty much Rose Bowl, and we'll be challenging whoever team it happens to be. And when that happens, we'll see how well we do in the offseason, and then, of course, uh, we'll stop right as soon as we are about to start the third season. So that way, we'll be able to have you guys join in after we do a few adjustments uh, off stream. Well, our number on the passing yards has dropped to 54th instead of the 80th or 90th, so that's good. <clears throat> We've been doing pretty good so far in that regard, and honestly, this is going to be a game that will absolutely be fun, so let's do it. Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. In its history, the Pac-12 is littered with great stars. Countless guys who brought home major awards. Heisman Trophy winners like Charles White and Marcus Allen. But you know the big advantage that the modern day star has over some of those great names from yesteryear? They get a chance to play in a conference championship game. The Pac-12 title game is coming up. We've done it's all game we can time. do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk. Arizona State versus Eastern Washington University. A champion will be crowned in 
in pack 12. Right now. Well, since we're getting the ball, oh wait, so it looks like we're getting the ball second, uh, first, so, okay. is on the field to kick this one off and everyone in the stadium is ready for this game to get started he's to the 20 he's out to the 30 they'll bring him down at the 32 yard line let's go are you brown so let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field have a lot at stake here including some possible record breaking performances records and stats are great. oh wow just completely man, destroyed Georgia win the game first and then any accolades we get along with it that would be great and he converts the extra point time for an update from the studio Reese what have you got the Aggies came into today's game ranked number one in the land and they silenced any doubters with that performance and for Texas A&M, their perfect season is still alive. The Aggies win it big. In other games, Conference USA Championship game, we expect it to go Here right go. down to the line. And for UAB, their 10th win of the year, and a victory they hope will give them a chance to play in a BCS Bowl. The Blazers finish on top, 30-27. to And for the Eagles, a golden opportunity now to move into the polls with that final end. Miller has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He's pushed out of bounds at the 35-yard line. He showed some excellent moves out there, more than you usually expect from a tight end. That was a big gain, and this offense keeps humming along. Brought down at about Let's go! Talk about a dual Come on, Lee. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. There we go. Throws on the run and it's picked off. They'll bring him down around the 46-yard line. And just a great interception by the cornerback. Well, that's big time. He made a great read on the quarterback and got in there for the pick. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46. They go with the toss. One-handed catch! Fred, do you remember the year that this guy had last year? Looking at him yesterday in practice, he looks bigger, he looks stronger, he looks faster. Look out this year. He's going to have a better year this year than he even had last year. And a quick throw. He's taken down at the 32. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who has there we go. making a catch. 
from the 32-yard line. It's first down. He's on the run. Inside the 10. He scores. What a play. And you know, Kirk, we get a chance to see one of the great players from last year, and if he has the kind of season he had a year ago, I mean, we could be talking about national awards. He makes the PAT. It was a quick three-play, 46-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. The score now, 14-0. They line up to kick this one away. And Oops. he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Eagles really took care of business on defense that first time out, Kirby. One of the great traditions. Oops, of well, oh, okay, somehow that works, but whatever. The way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment we're seeing that again today the offense will take the field hoping for better results God, hurry real run and we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out i would be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster the how he fights forward to about the 26. how did he catch that under some heat and they finally knock him out at the 38 yard line I'd go right back to him he's got the skills to make things happen and the defense might not be able to keep up at this moment So what are they going to do? That's the question. Quick release. Tight end. Incomplete. Andrews, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and four. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. He's tackled at the 22. McDonald brings him down at the 22 yard line. First down. six-yard line a nice looking play that time well the defense was blitzing here and again great recognition there we go back to find the stall them in dust all them come on guys hands off to the left and they wrestle him down behind the line he just timed the snap count there and really made a nice play. Come 
Come on, team. It's second and goal. You gotta hold them. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. And they make the stop right around the six yard line. Zips it to the back, and down he goes at the six. A yard if they're lucky on that pass play. It's a nice play by the defense to shut down all the lanes, so this halfback wasn't able to make anything happen on that play. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. He gets it up, and they tack on three points. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 25. The Eagles are punching it into the end zone when they get the chance, and that's been the difference so far in the ballgame. Yeah, give them all the credit. It's one thing to move the football down the field, but when you get an opportunity to come up with a touchdown, you have to capitalize on it, and they've done that. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. So at the end of one. Edwards, come on, buddy. 14-3. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Three down, three down. Hey, check back 33. Check back 33. Let's go. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't. Nice job, Kaufman. Nice job. Edward was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second down and ten to go. Ball on their own 39. Three down, three down. His receiver and nice job, Greg Hurd. Hurd. And he's tackled at the 37. That makes it first and ten. And it's caught. Brought down at the 20 yard line. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing nice the job, Edwards. blitz and delivering the football for a first down. From the 20-yard line, first down. And he hits him hard at the 12. Grant on the tackle at the 12-yard line. That makes it second and two. There we go! That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Brown gets a carry right side, and it pays off. Touchdown! the extra point a seven play 74 yard drive and they get it in for seven Brad I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense Miller is lined up to kick this one off he really got a hold of that kick this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback Think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Quick throw. They'll bring him down right around the 34. That's a gain of nine on the play. That brings up second and 
brings up second and one. Makes it out to about the 46. Call it a gain of 12 yards. First down. Makes the grab past the marker. He's knocked out of bounds around the 32-yard line. What we're seeing right now is just a great connection. We've been doing really good so far on our blitzes, trying to take advantage of the situation. As long as we can keep this up, we should be fine. Second and 12. Ball on the 34-yard line. <laughs> Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. Out of the 22 yards. First down. Come on. Get up the line. Get up the line. Get up the line. They're crowding the line. Man. On the team. Is to the back, incomplete. Ellis oh, was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From the twelve-yard line, second down. He fights forward to about the ten. That's good for a gain of two yards. Don't know why they're wasting the clock play right now. Their goal line D. Yeah, what the hell? I really don't know what was going on with through this head. Delay of game, offense. They'll line up for another third down play third because down. of the penalty. Well, here you're in a third down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. Third down and 12. Ball on the 15 yard line. Short over the middle. They'll get him for a loss. Not much Are there. you seriously going to run down the clock again? You already know you got a penalty last time, right? Let's hope they're smart. There you go. Finally. Things can change in a hurry. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Incomplete pass. Edwards, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From the 43-yard line, it's second down. Down, down. Mike 47. 
Almost intercepted there. Well, you want to do everything you can He's to get gone. the ball out of the hands of these receivers. So that was a really good effort. Freaking Mario Brown, I swear to God. That is his fourth touchdown on the ground, and this has been quite a game for him. When Heisman voters are trying to decide who will get their support, they're going to be thinking about performances like this one he's having here today. He splits the uprights with the extra point. With a three-play, 43-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. So our score, 28-6. Miller looks ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 27. Everywhere we go in college football, everybody's got a t-shirt that says finish. Finish. Pretty much. Whether that means finish the game or finish the drive. Right now, this offense is moving the ball, but they're not finishing the drive. They've got to execute better down closer to their opponent's territory. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Yeah, I'm with, I'm with the announcer on this one. He definitely is calling you right. He made the right choice by running it. He's taken down around the 40-yard line. And he has a huge gain. Yeah, and I like the decision-making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks. He sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. He sees some green in front of him, and he takes off. Ends up with a great run. From their own 40-yard line. First down. throws this one away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Sun Devils call a timeout. That's their second of the half. That makes it first and ten. From the 48-yard line, it's first down. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Good tackle. He was the last line of defense. Number 31 on the tackle at the 19-yard line. They put everyone up on the line. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. And he tackles him hard at the 13-yard line. Andrews picks him up six yards with a catch. And he just gets rid of it. about three yards to get the first down here on third down they'll spread the field with five wide quick out to his receiver he's tackled around the six yard line that's a game of seven on the play i don't know if that was a touchdown here let me let me double check Empty backfield quarterback in the gun five wide receivers. both of his feet in bound Hold on. I was at. I had a bad idea. Fires a laser touchdown. Oops. Yep, he had both. Just barely. Two-point conversion. 
They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Let's go! Jack, Jack. Regular, regular, regular! Caught it, and the conversion is good. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Room around the corner. Steps out of bounds at the 11th. It's been a fun night for this running back. Yeah, he sure is, Brad. And the thing that really impresses me is his ability to make the first guy miss. Anytime you can make that guy miss, right, it allows you to turn a routine play into a big play. And these are the kind of backs that I just love. He's not afraid when he gets down by the goal line to put that chin strap on a little bit tighter, get those shoulder pads ready, lower the pads, and run through a defender. That's a guy that wants to score a touchdown. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. All right. Nice run, and he's brought down. It's been a well-fought game as we head to the half. 28-14, Eagles. All right. So I'm going to pause right here, and then we'll do start the second half in just a little bit.
everybody, I'm back. Back to it. got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he's taken down at the 26. his way out to about the 35. Gain of nine yards. That'll bring up third and inches. He might have a chance. And he's tackled at the 47. Gain of 12 yards. First down. From their own 44 yard line. Second down. Fires it out. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 48 yard line. up a screen tailbacks got it tackle made that's the 42 that's good for a gain of 10 yards that makes it first and 10 <laughs> he's at the 20 down he goes at the one. That's good for a game of 41 yards. That makes it first and goal. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. Touchdown, Arizona State. There are some guys, when they get near the goal line, they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. And he adds the extra point. Sun Devils saw one of their top players going down earlier. It looks like he's going to be able to get back in there. Arizona State yet set to kick this one away. He'll take it from the two. They'll bring him down at the 23. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Brown, left side. He's to the 40. 
He finally goes down at the 48. From the 48 yard line. First down. Come on, team, we got this. They hand it off. Runs it right. Nice pickup. Brown picks up five with the carry. That'll make it second and four. Nice job, Herd. Larry, Larry. From the 24 yard line, first down. Fires out to his wideout. Brought down at about the 19 yard line. Second and five here. Ball on the 19. And he's immediately tackled. So the completion goes for about eight yards and a first down. It's the protection up front that allowed this play to happen. The line controlled the rush, and it gave the quarterback an opportunity to deliver a very nice throw. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. From the 11 yard line. It's first down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Brown gets six yards on the play. Pickup. Call it a gain of four yards. Third down. Holy crap. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. And they're in. Touchdown. distance this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback the Sun Devils are on a roll right now an absolute roll 21 straight points and the defense has no answer for it and 
we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped down on him. Second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Yeah. Slides down to the ground. Call it a gain of eight yards. That'll bring up third and two. On the ball, on the ball. That's three down and one to go. The Eagles lead it by two touchdowns. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. You can All right, really we got a tackle loss. That's good. From the right and we just got to stop them right here and hopefully get another another uh, play to potentially give us a little bit more of a lead than we currently have right play now. For the offense, but clearly the offense coordinator very happy about the execution in that last play. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. That was a loss of one yard. That'll bring up second and 12. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Just throws this one away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just Damn. throw it away out of bounds. They'll line it up again on third down. Excellent work up front. He got his arms up and took away any chance for them to convert on third down. Johnson is the punter. He's to the 40, and he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. This has been a record-setting game, as we saw the school mark for most rushing touchdowns fall a little bit earlier. And when the pressure's on and you play a game like this, the national spotlight will shine on you even brighter than ever before. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. Gain of three on the play. That makes it second and eight. Go wait. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on their own 44.
the stop around the 46-yard line. He has a realistic shot at breaking the single-season rushing record. Every carry on every down, this guy has been an absolute workhorse. He has an excellent workout regimen, and that helps him take all the punishment that he receives. From their own 46-yard line, third down. Fires out to his receiver. Tackle at the 45. That's the kind of rangy flanker every quarterback wants to be throwing to. He did well to make sure he had enough yardage to pick up the first down. Less than three minutes in the game. He gets hit out of bounds at the 28-yard line. That makes it first and ten. It's first and ten. Ball on the 28. Let's see if I can actually look at the record. Here's an opening. Well, Inside the, the school, 10. He's tackled at the four. The Sun Devils taking their first time out of the half. That makes it first and goal. down and they've got their eyes on that goal line just under two minutes in the game and he's taken down around the one yard line Arizona State is going to have to use their second time out of the half that brings up second and goal Down. Against Maryland. He makes the PAC. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Yellow Jackets were ranked number eight. Plenty of people doubted them. Fewer people do now. And for Georgia Tech, today's victory gives them their 11th win of the season. Georgia Tech gets the W by 11. All right, Reese, back to our game. Miller has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. Oh, man, did he take a hit. Here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Just under two to go in the game. And he 
throws it away. It's second and ten. Ball on the 21. to the 30 and he hauls that one in and he's tackled the 39 yard line one hell of a way to end Galler's career man he deserves that defense touchdown From the 40 yard line, first down. He rifles it. And he's got his receiver. It's the sophomore. Peoples on the tackle at the 14 yard line. First down. Him hard at the 14. Defense stacked in tight here. And down he goes at the 16. The Eagles will use their first time out of the half. That brings up third and 12. From the 16 yard line. Third down. And a quick throw. Well, a nice stop there late in the fourth quarter, but it's a blowout and has been for most of the game. I think it's time for everybody to go home. Ellis gained six yards with a short completion. It's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. You talk about a clutch play. They couldn't afford any mistakes on fourth down there. Under a minute left in the game. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Ooh, thanks. Yeah. Take a look. 
I've been watching it upstairs. He had a little game where it was line. just nothing well, win number 25 yeah. for this coach. Still a lot of work to be done, but it's a nice milestone to start with. NCAA record for the most rushing yards in a season. Wow. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Nice run to the left there. Just incredible. He's broken the record for rushing yards in a season. This is one of those individual milestones that's especially hollow. But you know that he's going to share the spotlight with his teammates. They're all enjoying this moment. The Eagles are going to have to call their third and final timeout. They're about four yards away here on second down. There he goes. Oh! Level at the ten. Yikes! The way he hit him. Ow! He's okay. Two times, two times. Here he goes. Nice run there. And the ball game's over. And our final score in this one 49 28. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kurt? Well, no doubt about it, this was a pretty big mismatch. Arizona State did a nice job of hanging in there against a far superior team, but in the end, they just didn't have enough to get it done. They played well, though. Nice job, guys. Holy crap. What an amazing... Freaking for the Eagles, they just keep winning in what has been a great Jesus, year. Mario Brown's and gonna be marked in history. If he doesn't get the Heisman the Trophy, I'll be pissed. I'll, I will actually be absolutely pissed if he does not make the Heisman. Yes, add. Add trophy. Bowl season. Here we go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Thank God for paper towels I always keep right next to me at all times. Dear God. <laughs> I didn't think it would spill that much. Looks like we leveled up. That's good. I'm gonna try to be up here without trying to spill so much after what happened there. Eating it on a table, I couldn't avoid that. What the hell? <clears throat> like, seriously. Let me got my glasses. What the hell? Oh, shit. Now I, no, God. Hang on. 
Okay, I'm trying to clean this shit off my glasses. I can't see. Ugh, for the love of God. <laughs> Very messy sandwich. John, oh, come on! Wait, who are we facing anyway? Oh, Pennsylvania State. Oh, wow. I think this is the first time we're actually facing them down, so... Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay. God bless it. This is going to be a mess no matter what I do. Thing I can do actually because this thing is so damn messy. Holy. <laughs> Delicious, but extremely messy. Just trying to finish this thing off before I can actually play. Damn. Delicious, but messy. <laughs> All right. Let's see. All right. So with our head coach, head coach point, we're going to increase matchup.
All right, here we go. Penn State University. They're known as the sixth best team in the nation. Let's see how we do. We're only the tenth, so... It would be funny if we somehow got an extra bowl game afterwards. That'd be nice. Uh, let's see what we got. Top three players of our uh, home is, of course, Ron Williams, Mario Brown, and uh, Carlos Holman, I believe. And then, of course, we got Mauro, Brown, and Rodriguez for Penn State. So it's going to be relatively even. NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. There is little that carries the connotation of excellence more than this setting in college football. Against the backdrop of the three, two. There is little that carries the connotation of excellence in college football quite like this setting. Against the backdrop of the San Gabriel Mountains, the grandfather of them all. The Rose Bowl, and we're just about set to go from Pasadena. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. This Zing is it. And I will see you at halftime. Looks like they'll get the ball in the second half. For the classic Rose Bowl, and the they'll be taking the ball in the first. Some noise as they get ready for this game. Let's head down to the coin toss now. Brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste. Here we go. Enjoy everything. See how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Yeah, sorry about my nose. It's a little stuffed up. He'll take it from the two. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. To the 30. He's to the 40. The 50. He gets hit out of bounds at the 37. Herbie, we had a chance to see this kid a year ago, and he was sensational. If he's anything like he was last year, look out this season. First and 10 following that big run. Little handoff. 
He's at the 20, the 10, and he's finally shoved out at the 5. The Eagles are feeling pretty good about themselves, especially after a record-setting performance last week. But the best thing they can do, put it all behind them and get back to work because the records don't mean anything today. Second down. Defense and their short yardage package. Here we go. Touchdown. This is what an offensive lineman hopes for. An opportunity to impose his will on the defense. the PAT, a four-play, 80-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. You know, this offensive line has done a really good job, but really, I think it's more about the big play ability from the running backs and why we've seen so many big plays from this offense. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. <laughs> So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. He steps out at about the 29-yard line. <clears throat> that makes it second and six. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. run to the outside. Weber gets about four yards on the play. That'll make it second and seven. <clears throat> From their own 41-yard line, it's second down. <clears throat> Fires that quickly, incomplete. The defense got some pressure and forced it.